right, guys. Achievement Hunter is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let hackers get a hold of your financial data. That's pretty important stuff. So, secure your data at expressvpn.com slash achievement. Welcome to Off Topic, Achievement Hunter, sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let your internet provider see all the sites you visit. Ooh. Hide your browsing activity at expressvpn.com slash RTTV. Boom. All right, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yo. Do it. I had it perfectly timed where I was going to get food delivered before mm -hmm. this started. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What happened? There were delivery issues. Ah, so the food so just got here there. like two... Three minutes before this all kicked off uh-huh and usually i'll go uh -huh. all right you know what whatever it'll sit there but this is five guys so Whoa. oh yeah you, don't you can't let that sit yeah this isn't you gonna munch, go cold so munch. i'm on i'm on munch while we discuss here but well, i'm not gonna be a savage and into the mic okay right i'm not, I'm not that kind want. of person that's true some people well you're not gonna that. get it from me Mm. I'm sure there's some ASMR Twitch streamer out there that's what chewing into the mic. <laughs> what are you okay, doing? so here's the thing. Clink, clink around around yeah, thing. it's bad. It's bad timing. So his food just got delivered. Yeah, I just got my new light. Yeah, I'm you playing did. With it, nice. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, you, knew. Man. you knew exactly. That's nice, what man. That's a mean? fancy light, dude. That's it's a fancy, big, fancy look at this light. Bar. This is a nice thick, light. man. Dude, yeah. Compared to your alternative, it might be too big. No. Oh well, then you can get the baby light. There's the baby version. I'm talking about just physical space. Oh, um, like to well, fit in my setup, but I appreciate much you going smaller no. than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not too so, big. It's, it's, it's too big. Just make it fit. I have a, uh, float, I, you know, dude. I didn't know if I would come into this episode with any stories or anything. And uh, then, you know, every now and again, something shines down upon you. Uh, oh. about 15 minutes ago, I knocked myself out. Really? Wait, yeah. What? Hold? Uh, yeah. What? So how long were we out for? talking to you like 15 minutes ago? All right. Oh, you did it, Matt? Yeah, well, and, it was uh, so I was I have a bunch of shit behind my setup that I constantly change around because of just how it is like I have one webcam but you know if I'm doing something like off topic or whatever it's plugged into one computer when I'm streaming and whatnot it's in another one so I'm just always back there the thing is the way the ceiling slants right there it doesn't Ooh. it does it on all corners oh. of the room so I like duck down to go under my light but I didn't duck down far enough to where the slant is. So I ducked down and then went forward to get something. And I cracked my head off of the slant, like right. I don't know if it's red or not, but it was right there. And I like, and then I came to and I was on the floor. Oh my and God. I, and I went down, Are you? Yeah. And I, yeah, so I went right? downstairs and I stood with Jesus Kat for a bit and I was like, Christ. and I had an ice pack on my head. Like I got an ice pack. I was standing next to Kat <laughs> and I was fuck? like, I was like, I need you um, to just help me make sure I'm not concussed right now. <laughs> like, that's yeah, that's I was they're say, like, you, is there so, some kind of like concussed, you know, like, well, like I, test I, or something? I'm not feeling really nauseous, do, tired, first, and my eyes aren't shaking, which yeah. are like, that's all things or dilated. That's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, that you just good god, man, knocked yourself out that easily. Yeah, um, dude, it was well. also, I was going in there to get the thing and. I thought you were trying to say he has like a baby skull um, or something like that. What yeah, I would do, skull. honestly, is, I mean, if you need to go take a nap, just take a nap. No. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what Michael's Rest. referencing, if you are concussed. Rest up, dude. Do Rest not up. go to sleep. Do don't, not take don't, a, that's, don't do it. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Stay awake till you get to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then oh. you, they'll have a place for you to nap there. I've been. The oh. I've they been won't let you before. nap either. Have any of you been concussed before? I have. Yeah, what did you do? Was I, well, I went to sleep, and now I am like I am. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's really just trying to make it. Uh, That's his origin I, story. I yeah, yeah. I used to be a scholar, actually. Um, I was riding. A, I was riding my bike, and I was riding. And I think I've told this story or some some part of it before. But there was like this. Um, it's like a drainage. Uh, uh like waterway like it's like where all the like water like went through the town you know those like those like aqueduct type shit we oh, had a bunch of those tube. like mm -hmm. where i it's where you'd go in and like you'd ride skateboards and bikes and shit because it had slopes that went up and down 
So we were, if you, if you follow it, like where the, how the water flows, it goes down like a little, little bit at a time, like little ramps. Um, and so my friends and I were riding in them and we were like pedaling really fast and we were going down the ramps and down the ramps and down the ramps. And then we were going so fast that we hit one or I hit one ramp and I didn't go down. I just like went soaring off of it oh. and I, and oh. I missed the whole, it's like a little, a little drop, but then a big slope. So I missed the whole slope, like falling off the top step and missing the entire staircase. So I decoupled from my bike in like midair and like <laughs> bashed my launch. face into the, into the, like the concrete mm-hmm. at the bottom. Um, and I had a helmet on, but it was very much like the front of my head. And I, can barely remember i was essentially like blacked out i think i blacked out for like for yeah it's one of those but but way he's put the good picture up but like way more space in the middle no this was huge there was like 10 feet in the middle oh, and the wow. slope was also probably at least another it was probably like a 10 foot slope it's like, like a, a bigger play around yeah. in gta a bigger version of that really fun to play in um <laughs> so i was like i blacked out and then i was like woozy and my friend had to like shoulder me as i started to ride my bike and i like essentially drunkenly rode my bike home and he kind of just like dropped me off to my parents like <laughs> oh my goodness he Good luck his with hat. That. and yeah, then so then my mother gave me an ice pack and she started feeding me coffee i was a hundred percent concussed there's no way i wasn't yeah it was, in the st- was it to stay awake it's like yeah. she's feeding you <laughs> yeah. coffee what yeah, a technique. Yeah, like, I've don't never go heard to sleep. Yeah. Don't go to sleep. Down on this well, it wasn't like it wasn't like I wasn't bleeding. It wasn't like I don't know. And I I'm the third child, so I've got like third child syndrome of like it's it's not that my family didn't go to the hospital or want to go to the hospital, but there was a very much like we've seen this before. You're fine. You don't need to go. You know yeah. your arm isn't broken. There's nothing hanging out. You know you're not drooling on yourself. It was like yeah, you might have a concussion. We don't need to go to the hospital for that. Just don't go to sleep. You're fine. Yeah, uh, that's why I didn't freak out when that happened. Like, I've been knocked out so many times. <laughs> that's not something you should be yeah. proud of. No, it's not. But I just, I keep getting wanged in the head. Tally dude. another well, one. Start when you're short, I get, your wang, head. I get when, well, when you're short, everything that's normally shoulder height is now <laughs> head height. And like, so I'm just like whacking off of shit. Also, like, gymnastics whacking don't help. Off. Oh, he's whacking off. Yeah, that's what I took yeah, from shit. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we Gym- heard it. Yeah. We all heard it. Gymnastic, no help. It's, it's a lot of just banging your head into stuff accidentally you're trying to do flips and whatnot <laughs> the I, I feel like i might have told this story before the funniest one was my buddy of mine we were trying to get some rings down like still rings that you do the gymnastics on and uh we were trying to get them down they were like made out of plastic and not like out of like a heavy plastic but not like wood like the normal ones and they were over a trampoline so like you could just jump up onto them and do whatever you wanted to and then if you were dismounting you could try some stuff and be a little safer about it um but like we needed to get them down so my friend got up on my shoulders and i was like holding him up as he was undoing the ring and so he managed to undo it but it slipped through his hands and just went straight down and hit me on the top of the head Ooh. and then i blacked out with him on my shoulders so the rest oh my of my God. team saw just the two of us collapse <laughs> over on a trampoline <laughs> and, like bounce over because it just like hit me down he went down <laughs> i kind of like woke up but uh am i out of focus on oh, of focus am i i wonder if there's just smuts on my lens Oh, you got some smuts? You touch your lens that way. I'm going to try to place, man. I'm going to all over the place today. I feel like shit today. I'm going to go to bed right after this. Ooh, all right. Glad, I'm glad I said consumed. I feel like shit and it went to the wide. Uh, you look like shit, too. I'm settled. I don't look like oh. shit. Yeah, every day. Man, that has I'm nothing to do with my skin anymore. Let me tell you. Okay, what'd you get on your burger? Yeah, what'd you get? Let's run us through it. Come on. So I got the double patty, extra cheese. Yep. Then I got yep. ketchup with mayo because I like that mix of the two. Mm-hmm. And then I got lettuce and I think that was about it. And a couple oh, onions. And then grilled? oh like, can you get a grilled? Oh. I just threw onions on it. Oh, you, you sure can, can get grilled onions. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Next time. Next time. I, get another look, one. I was in a rush to get to it. It was in the bottom of the bag. It was buried with all the fries that they give you. <laughs> yeah, the fry graveyard. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I put out a plate and then like I just like 
grabbed the cup of like fries, dumped it on the plate. Then I like reached in for the bag and I was like, oh, there's just grease in my hand. And then I like dumped the bag fries onto the plate and then realized this big plate, there's like no room for my burger. I just got to, it's just fries. It's a plate of fries. So I just grab the burger, stuff it on top. Man. Yeah. That's how you do it. And now yeah, regular fries, oh, or Cajun fries. I like those oh, Cajun fries they got. Oh, I got, oh, I got regular. I didn't, I didn't feel like something <laughs> regular. Dude, I, I, got a regular. Oh, yeah. I feel what you're doing there, man. I feel that. That is a, I have a very distinct memory because it was recent of inhaling a five guys like that. And I, I got, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I got a, I got an extra patty. So it was like a triple, which comes with extra, or I think I, or I think I added a, an extra slice of cheese. Cause I was like, you had an extra patty. You got an extra slice of cheese, mushrooms, grilled onions, lettuce, um, probably ketchup, mustard. And I, and I was in the middle of streaming. So I wanted to eat it fast. And I think I ate the entire thing in like th three and a half, four minutes. Um, and Matt was streaming. So I just streamed his stream, yeah. which I'm pretty sure is against the rules. That's how it goes, yeah, man. No, I've, I've done it. I've streamed Alfredo's uh, stream a bunch. And, yeah, you uh, have. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, uh, if I was waiting to join, I haven't done it in a long really? time, but. What is, is he, that? I think it's like oh, a, it's uh, a little okay. Hold on, first and oh, foremost, I, I, like, I like keeping my place very. You know what I mean? I don't like dust on my on my shit. This is Me my neither, sanctuary, dude. is my setup, and so I, I used to do like the air cans, the compressed air cans, like oh, and they're great. Uh, but I was like, I just got, I kept buying them, so I bought one of these like electrical ones. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, real nice. quick, real easy. I might invest in that. Um, it's worth it. I have it right here in my desk, and I saw a bunch of dust, and I was like. Shh. Anyways, there were a couple of times where we were streaming Siege way back when, <laughs> when like, you know, Fredo, I, I would want to stream it with him, but he would like be with a group. And so when I jumped on, he would like be finishing up a match or or like I had to install something. There's been once or twice that like mine wasn't ready to go like I yeah. thought it was. And um, I usually jump on my stream earlier than um, Jeremy does. So I was like, all right, I'll just kick off, play with a couple of friends. So he would Jeremy kick off. So on. I'd start going and he'd be like, oh, well, we got to finish this. And they'd be doing like a ranked match and that can last forever. Like it yeah. just keeps going back yeah. and forth. And so I would just put his stream up on my stream. I was like, rather than Smart. me like play a match without him or like just do the practice stuff, I just would put his stream up and I would like color commentate on what was going on. Uh, but some of the times I would jump into the Discord so Fredo could hear me doing it, <laughs> uh, just specifically to try to throw him off, like what was going on. And I had way too much fun doing that, and, like because I started to learn some of the callouts, so I'd actually be like, <laughs> oh, "Okay, Fredo was like, uh, he's checking white stairs right now. He's got oh, a good angle on it right now." Oh my like, god, <laughs> he, hear, he hears an opponent in sandwich. Fredo going to peak sandwich. I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> yes, I know that, Jeremy. Thank you. <laughs> I would be like, but like the thing is, it was like kind of delayed too because I was watching yeah. the stream, so it'd be it would already have happened by the time Fredo was hearing it. <laughs> So Fred would be mid firefight and I'd be like, there's a guy, there's a guy. <laughs> I'd be like, thank you, Jeremy, already shooting. <laughs> that was, you know, that was a hell of a time. That's one way to play Siege, that's, I'll tell you that much. That's one way to do it. The baboon, as we yeah. call it, in your ear. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, this damn baboon in my ear. It just keeps going off about these callouts. <laughs> This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Movement. It's no surprise that 2020 isn't playing by any of the usual rules, and that goes for holiday shopping too. Between shipping delays and the messy, stress-induced idea of in-store shopping experiences, there aren't great options, but our friends over at Movement Watches have made gift-giving easy. Movement makes clean and modern watches, blue light glasses, and other accessories. Getting great quality and style doesn't have to bre break the bank. Br br to break the bank. A movement watch really feels like a four to five hundred dollar watch for a fraction of the price. They're durable, great quality, and are designed in house out of the Los Angeles headquarters. Uh, I've been talking about movement for years. I think many people at this point uh, have joined the movement. They look great. They're sleek. They're versatile. They go with anything casual, a little more formal. There's one for all the occasions. Movement has a super sleek matte black packaging. Just add a bow and you're good to go. It's great. It's like a gift box in itself. You get that really satisfying like when you open the cover. The products are one size fits all and their gift guides help you find the gift that fits anyone's style. Movement shipping is fast and they offer free returns all the way into next year. Not that you'll need it. 
Get 15% off today with fast, free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash off topic. Look, it's better than when, when we play, you know, the takeout crew, Michael, Jackie, myself, Meg, when we're playing Fall Guys. And we talked about this before, so I'll keep it brief. But when Jackie's knocked out and she's watching Michael and I play and she just has my stream up on her second monitor and she doesn't refresh it for like a week. So by the time she's like at that moment, she's already on like a seven second delay. Um, which I only have like a half a second to a second on, on my stream. So there was, you know, real quick, like I guess I said this already. Michael tiptoe gets to like the last path, the last couple panels and he jumps, he dives, he makes it. And it says like, you know, passed or whatever like qualify qualify yeah, yeah, and then you just then there's then there's a says. beat and you just hear jackie go 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 michael go 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 and we're just like what the we he's, he's through already like he's, oh. the, it's over it happened like refresh your page woman like refresh. get up to date <laughs> with Dude, the, the stream time right now i stream with cat all the time and she'll like be reading the chat so she'll have obs open and the chat's just on the side and she's reading it but so she'll just get into the habit of watching the gameplay through OBS, which is like over here. <laughs> so like I'm looking this way and playing and Cat would be like, oh, you better watch out for that guy. Like, like totally looking this way. Yeah. And it's like slightly delayed. Like it, it's really yeah, not that noticeable. Until yeah, but it's enough for you to be moment. Yeah, it's enough for you to be on like already starting your swing. You know what I mean? Like the thought yeah, process exactly. already, is already there. Like you see him, I'm going to engage and you know, in your head, you're like, all right, here it comes. And then she's like, oh man, watch out. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like if there's already a jump there, scare or there. something, like it'll hit me before it hits her. And like, uh, it, she'll, cause she'll just kind of zone out and realize that she's watching the stream on this screen instead of on this one. But, uh, dude. And speaking of fall guys yesterday, you know, I was getting ready for Chump and I had Matt on there and, and I had a bunch of people on there and we were just watching Fall Guys like before Chump started because yeah. you, you were still playing and fucking Jack at the end of Tiptoe. I was losing it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah. I had it muted and I watched like I because I'd never seen Tiptoe with the swinging things before. That was yeah, nuts. Yeah, dude. And, like, Bonkus. Brutal. And, like. Yeah, oh, there he is. Here he comes. <laughs> the voice Here of comes Jack. Jack. Hang on. Hang on. They can't oh. hear you yet, Jack, until you get into VMix. He just, he, yeah, Jack jumped in and he was like, Fredo, oh. I love you, man. And I'm like, That's you know what? He what? Said. Yeah, it yeah, just now. I'm Jack saying, save the love for the stream, Jack. He, yeah, he like got thrown. He was like over the line, but someone else got thrown a bit further than him and so qualified, and Jack just got eliminated. And we're all watching it, like getting ready for Chump. And I'm like, Oh man, that's he was so close. And I went, I bet he's yelling if I unmute it. And I unmuted yeah. it. And Jack's like, God damn it. <laughs> like, yep. Yeah, it yeah. was it was it was pretty good. He's like, Fredo, why the fuck were you grabbing me? See why wouldn't you let me go? So, so, so this is what happened. Yeah, we're like on this, you know, towards the second half, and we're like five tiles out or whatever. This is like a big was it big thunk thunkus? Thunkus? Big, uh, I, we just said I Thick know. Bonkus. Yeah, Thick Bonkus. bonkus. Yeah. I was saying in reverse. Is, they're, they're really stupid names. <laughs> it's so dumb. Thick, thick Bonkus. Big it was, it, thick it, was, bonkus. it was going off, and I'm watching it. I'm timing it, and then one person like carves the path right under it and gets to the finish line, qualifies. And so while I'm watching all of that happen, I'm like. I'm like watching that behind me, but I'm grabbing onto someone to make sure I don't fall off. And I have no idea who the fuck I'm grabbing onto. So I'm grabbing onto some random person. I'm like, okay, there it goes, there it goes. Now's my time. I let go. I didn't even hear Jack yelling, go Fredo, go Fredo, leave me alone, go. I run, <laughs> jump, dive, make it. And then Jack goes for it completely off sync because I took the timing opportunity. He didn't, <laughs> I was holding him. And then Jack died. But in my defense, no one completely finished. There were still some more spots left. Jack yeah. got all the way back up there. And then on his own attempt, me not grabbing him, holding him on for safety, messed up, 
died. So really, did I ruin that for him? You're a son oh, yeah. of a bitch, Alfredo. I mean, yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, you're so <laughs> Good lord. He's breathing down your so, neck. I, I was so pissed off because he was he was literally grabbing me, and I'm like, go! Oh! And he wasn't letting go, and the thing he was, was like, swinging. Dude, he was and, yelling, "Go left, go oh left!" God, and he's a team hunter. We're loud. It so was... in my mind, I'm just like, okay, now is the, is now the yeah. time. No, now. No, now's the time. And then I just went and I went, oh shit, yeah, I was holding on to Jet. Yeah, it acid. was it was so acid. good too, because not only did that happen, but like we got to really based in it because you finished, Jack fell, but then like you said, the game wasn't over. So then he ran all the way back up again. So that whole attempt of him running back up was just him cursing you. <laughs> you know, he's like, like we were still living in it because the game yeah. wasn't over yet. He's like, I want to finish. Damn you, Fredo! And Fredo's like, no, you can still make it. You can still make it. And Jack was just like laying into him the entire time. <laughs> to, to be, it was, to be it fair was to Alfredo, funny. that was a huge dick move, but uh, like as a, as a bad thing, not a good thing. And uh, But the, the thing <laughs> after that was the tail grab, which I would have lost anyway. There's zero chance I would have oh, lost. Oh, yeah. So yeah, there's, much. There's, there's, that's the thing about Fall Guys, right? Like when you, you get knocked out or something happens, it's quite unfortunate. But then you see it's like a tail grab or like a, <laughs> yeah, so really like is. A, a finale that you don't like and you just go, ah, that's okay. Or, it's, you it's know, very often or the reverse. Where you're like, oh, thank God, I yeah. got knocked yeah. out. Yeah. Or the reverse, <laughs> you get knocked out, something like that happens, and then you see it's like, you know, Hex or Jump Show, or uh, what is it, Fall Mountain, and you just go, oh, damn it, man, the, now it, I'm missing this. The best one of those is when you don't make it, you, you know, like, oh, I just missed it, you know, your first eliminator or whatever, and then the next round is Egg Scramble, and you go, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. okay. Oh, I don't have to live <laughs> yeah. in that hellhole. We you, haven't done fun much with playing scramble eggs. lately, which I'm happy. They, well, because they keep making playlists where you don't have to play it. Thank God. <laughs> it, and we, I would say, we win egg scramble a lot, but it's just not fun. I love egg scramble when uh, Jeremy's with us. Yeah, because he just goes and bullies the other team. I'm That's, such yeah, an I've, ass I've never lost in that game. I love it. It's dude. Fantastic. I don't think I've ever lost egg scramble with Jeremy on my team. Just because it's all he does is takes it from someone he just else. I just go like, dude, team. I can't believe these guys have two eggs, and I just get those two eggs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's well, my you're, only you're deal. Him, you're just throwing them out and watching them get away. hit by a hammer. It's funny. <laughs> just take them and chuck them out of there. There's, there's like two. We're two different players in egg scramble, Jeremy, but neither one of us get points. You, <laughs> you just go attack someone usually the weakest link whoever's in last yeah you whoever's decide last, you, you decide do. you're gonna stay in last or yeah. i want your score to be zero you just take them and you throw them out i just once once the 80 percent, 90 percent of the middle eggs are accounted for as long as we're not in last i just defend just yep. stop people like you um <laughs> and it's satisfying when you're at least in second because then it's just yeah. like okay just hold it they can fight it out but then if I can get like two other people to defend with me, I do the reverse of what you're describing, except in my own base, where there'll be a guy in my base for 47 seconds and he has not thrown out a single egg. I'll Dude, be like, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, it's so, back in the pit. So right. Pick it up. Oh, it's back in the pit. So I, just, I just stand at the top like this and I go, try to get an egg out, bro. I try to get the egg out. And there that was always gives me immense pleasure. I haven't played Fall Guys in like a really long time. The last time I played it, we played, I was playing Egg Scramble. Uh, I think it was like Chilled, Cole, and Dave or whoever, but we were like playing it and they like kept people. I mean, obviously I've stopped playing and people haven't. And they've gotten very, very good. And like in Egg Scramble, the original Egg Scramble map, people can like grab it in the bottom and then they do like a dive, let go, let go yeah. thing yeah, and they can like, it shuck out. it like fling it out from the bottom and like so i'm like don't know how to deal with that because like if there's a good defender um i can only bully so much you know what i mean like yeah if there's a michael there there isn't much i can do but usually if the team is losing and in last no one's defending because they, they're they like scatter. we need eggs yeah they yeah. scatter i should <laughs> you not there was uh one time where, where gavin was playing uh fall guys with us and it was egg scramble and we the match started, Gavin and I were at the top. We're like, okay, we just knew that we were going to defend and be the defenders. And then we stood there for the entire match and just watched the two teams go at it. They didn't even come to us. That's, we, that's the dream. 
It was yeah. weird because we just we're sat there and we're just like, huh, they're really going in. Look at them go. And we're like, do we have enough eggs? Yeah, yeah, we got enough eggs. This will be fine. This will get us through. I don't know <laughs> if, that was, if that was the one I was in because that happened too. It might have been a different game, but it was a similar thing where people hit our base, but we blocked them for like 30 seconds and then they just left and never came back. Like, <laughs> yeah. and Because I, I, I was standing there the whole time. It happened and I, was twice. Going, I was just like, they learned their lesson. They learned their lesson. And then it was just the other two teams. It, it, over a minute passed and not a single person came to our base. We just stood yeah. there and got there was um something. what's the game mode it's very rarely played but it's like the the team tail grab um with yeah, like with the, the four teams yeah with the four yeah. teams and the conveyor yeah, belt and whatnot tag. but there's there's one there's one time where gavin and i we started off gavin had a tail and he just oh, man and he just stood there right right off the start he just stood there so then what i did was i was right next to him and then i was like all right i got right behind him and then I just like inched up like right behind him completely. And like, I was like, all right, boom. And I was like right behind his character. And I was <laughs> so close and behind him that you could barely see the tail. So we just stood there the whole time going, <laughs> I don't, the, no one, no one knows. No one sees this. I don't think anyone's it's just like, Shh, keep your tail. I'm hiding your tail. So Gavin was hiding his tail in my body and then no one grabbed it. It was funny too, because you could, it, you couldn't really see the tail on Gavin, but you could see it coming through yeah, Alfredo. Yeah, slightly, I'm sure. Yeah. So the tiniest longer. little tail was sticking out of Alfredo. And I was just like, this is this is weird, guys. Yeah, no, it was really here. weird, but no one caught on. So oh, I never I've played that game with Larry and Matt quite a bit. And anytime yeah. I get team tail tag with them, I have no goal other than if i yeah. see them with a tail and i don't have one i grab it like you if and they're I on my team that, that same goal yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will yeah. chase each other for the entire match to get the tail from one another <laughs> on the same team and like i love when i start and don't have one and larry does because when it's oh, doing yeah. the countdown larry's going no 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 <laughs> the game starts and i just <laughs> run, knock him out and grab it and take off it's my favorite shit it always puts us like right by him too mm -hmm. so it's just an immediate like yeah okay that's mine let's go that's mine now see ya <laughs> yeah. now the game can go what is oh, that they put a teaser season for the coming. yeah they put a teaser for yeah. season three and it's like One a week. winter wonderland Ooh. yeah but like the, the teaser good. also kind of like teases a bit of a map and it looks like a slide and that slide it looks like you go down the slide launch off into kind of like a connect four type of like wall so that just sounds like a pain in the ass. If everyone has to like go down a, a like a kind of like an ice slide yeah, and try and fit into these holes um, without bumping into each other, dude. I think there's a new finale. Doom guy though, man. We got Doom guy coming. Doom guy, oh, yeah, he's coming. Coming to fall, guys. I may have to oh, go. actually play to more and try to get crowns. Get them free battle pass crowns. Yeah. Or I mean, you're not going to win playing with Alfredo. That's true. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> wasn't my fault L loaded solos jack i did grab fiona Same, a couple dude. times during yesterday's stream and i felt bad about that <laughs> that one i felt bad about all right yeah there's oh, the that one you felt bad about grabbing her not not me not not as i was <sighs> <laughs> jack you jack you you're, you're jack one crown what are you talking about you already have a crown you jack one crown mm -hmm. oh yeah no now that i'm really looking at it it's yeah you gotta do it multiple times that's a jack you could have made that tiptoe that's, that wasn't on me <laughs> on my screen i was in front of the guy who eliminated me so i don't know what yeah, happened yeah. i was like i yeah. saw that watching it and i was like oh damn i, like, I got yeah. it like, what? Oh. That, that happens that's the latency with the game but what's worse is when you're doing fall mountain and there's a guy you're at the top you're in the lead there's a guy behind you you jump you grab it and then it says eliminated and then you yeah. realize the latency it happens a lot yeah, yeah when you then you realize it was the latency and that he was in front of you the whole time i i had a game um i was just like getting all my new pc stuff like my graphics card my monitor and stuff um i wanted to test my frame rate and so i was just like i'll just load up fall guys real quick let's play one game of fall guys and so i was recording it and i played one game and i made it to the finale and i it was a um fall mountain and i had like one of the cleanest runs i've ever had in fall mountain I, it was like it was like someone gave me the script of where the boulder like i was missing boulders by like a hair margin, oh yeah and they were crushing people behind me so i make it all the way up um i'm running up 
the, I go up the ramp, turn to the second ramp that like leads right to the crown. And there's a guy behind me and he's a good, you know, five bean feet behind me or something. And the latency kicks in. We're like, right as I go to jump, he fucking grabs me. And it surprised me because he was nowhere near me. Um, mm-hmm. But he grabs me and he yanks me back. And the crown was like perfect. Like it was going to be right like where I needed it to be when I got to the top. So he grabs me, pulls me back. And I want to say he rolled up at least one person from him or like behind him came and then two people on the other side. And so like he grabbed me and I was like jumping and jumping and shit to try to get away. And then I finally got away, but the momentum almost carried me right off. Like I almost ran right off to drop onto the conveyor belt, jumped, spun around, ran in like a circle, jumped the second time and got the crown amongst like five fucking people. And then I ended up winning. I posted it on, uh, I posted a clip of it, but I was like, that was the sickest run I ever had with <laughs> yep. the sickest recovery I ever had. Like for both of those things to happen in the same run was just mind blowing to me. And it was, and I, and then I went, my test is complete. And I turned the game off. I was like, I played <laughs> one game today and I won one game. No more fall guys today. And that was after literally a back to back game of when Alfredo bought me a McRib or sorry, a big Mac McRib wasn't out yet. Yeah. The one that, uh, Jackie drunkenly promised you. He's like, I'll buy it for you. I'll buy it for you. Alfredo will even drive it over to you. And I'm like, that fuck, I'm not. No, I will not be doing such a thing. And then she's like, or I'll buy you one. I'm like, I mean, I'll buy him one. <laughs> it's like, whatever. And so then Michael be, takes that and starts Mac. offering Big Macs to other people playing Fall Guys, like Jack oh. and Fiona. And I went, oh. Yeah. Ooh. oh yeah, well, it was uh, McRibs at that point. Switched yeah. it up. And right. I was they like, became, and that's really why, Jack. <clears throat> He grabbed you. He didn't want to give you a McRib. He didn't want to give me that free McRib. He was rescinding his offer. It's it's the thing is it's less (laughs) it's less paying for it and more so just like I gotta get Jack and Fiona's address and put that in and then the whole order is like on me and it's like I don't want to deal with all that. If I could just go boom purchase and it shows up at your place with no issues, and sure, why not? I mean, that essentially yeah, is so it's, uh, it's literally a text message of my yeah. address to Alfredo, which I think yeah. he has my address it's, already. Anyway, uh, I, so, I yeah. probably do. Yes, actually, it's about, I'm pretty sure I do. But I got to put it in. It like ugh. arguably less than well, one I get that of work yeah. to get yeah. to the thing he wished he could do. Yeah, yeah. Go boop, that's and like, it just shows up. It's like a man I just don't want to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. Look, man, if I get, if it can go down while I'm playing Fall look, Guys, cool. But, look, let me ask you this. Did you order mine? No, Jackie did. Then you don't have to listen. When Jack wins, <laughs> I'll text Jackie. I'll give her the information. There you go. He'll get the McRib, Perfect. and then you pay for it. Look, that's Boom. fine. You, know you could facilitate the whole thing. I don't care about paying for it. I don't want to facilitate shit. I don't care if it I takes see, me ten seconds. I would seconds. love to facilitate that. This is where I want to invest my time. Okay, I don't want to do spreadsheets. I don't want to do meetings. But I will absolutely organize a group message collecting addresses and handing out in uh building menu orders you know i'll take screenshots i'll i'll use <laughs> i'll edit i'll use the highlighter little function i'll do it all if we can walk away with you bought jack a mcrib um <laughs> but we can't have that if you're just grabbing people on tip though yeah you son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> dude i was so focused on the timing man i had no idea i was grabbing jack I, I no like idea your, your story it was just reflex oh, like you weren't even meaning to do it it just happened yeah that's, that's so proud of jack i didn't know what it was i heard i heard jack yelling i, I was like man it. he must be having a rough time in tiptoe for some reason like i don't know what's going on here but i was like hey, oh, but I, think I think i got this timing down <laughs> 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 This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Honey. Imagine this. Uh, Just bear with me, if you will. You make a list of the gifts you're going to buy for the holidays. And then someone randomly gives you the money to help you buy one. Sound good? Well, that's what Honey is doing. They're helping pay for $1 million worth of gifts. Take that, Santa. He's not even real. Boom. Roasted. You're probably wondering, is this the same Honey that automatically searches for promo codes online? Yes. Yes, it is. With Honey, you can also make a list of all the holiday gifts you want from certain stores, and Honey will email you when the price drops for any item on your list. All you need to do is add Honey to your computer, create a free account, and throw some holiday gifts on your drop list for a chance to win. Honey will randomly select winners and give them the money to help them buy something on their list. Now, 
you know, maybe you're like me and you put a PS5 on the list and, uh, oh, a PS5. Wow, this is great. But really, you can add anything you want um, and they'll search for it. And maybe Honey will, you know, throw a couple bucks your way. No purchase necessary. You need a PayPal account to redeem the prize. Only valid in the U.S. Giveaway ends December 21st, 2020. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash off topic. That's joinhoney.com slash off topic. Michael, how many McRibs do you have to? Um, two. Nice. Two. I lied. I went yesterday, even though I said I wasn't going to go. I went anyway. Good call. Um, I had my I first saw- for lunch today, so I've got, oh, I've got one. What was it? Did you eat was, in the parking lot? delicious. I did. I did. I, I pulled off go. the side, ate it hot. Excellent work. Yeah, Jack talked about, um, I think it was during other, either Chit and Chat or when we played Fall Guys, Jack was talking about you got to eat it fresh. I think it was yeah. Chit and Chat because I was yeah. there. Yeah, yeah you got to park. Eat it right um, then and there. Yep. yep. I, I saw this while little... driving, but McRib, it's messy. You got to eat that oh, thing yeah. parked. Well, I yeah, mean, yeah. you just get a new steering wheel. Every every McRib <laughs> yeah. month. You, it's you, not you the want steering wheel you get shit on, your man. McRib. That's just a yeah, How hard are you steering. biting that thing? Pull <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 like hold, holding the McRib in your hand and like grabbing the steering wheel and driving around and like smearing it. <laughs> I saw a tip. I can't remember who posted it. But I just saw it floating around. Somebody retweeted it. It land. It landed at my doorstep. Um, but I threw uh, threw bacon on it. Ooh! It oh, good. whoa! It was, it was a good addition. It's a good sandwich to have bacon. I'm I'm not one for put bacon on every single cheeseburger. I'm not either. I like I like a good barbecue bacon burger. I do think they blend well together. But as far as like a regular like a quarter pounder, I will go no bacon. Mm-hmm. Um, it was good on a McRib. McRib was a good sandwich to try bacon on, so I mm-hmm. recommend it. Nice. Man, did you did you guys see? And this isn't this is not like a sponsor thing or, or any of that stuff. But Hashtag Warner yeah. Brothers announced that they're going to release their entire 2021 slate of films. Yeah, man. On HBO Max the same day they hit theaters. I saw oh, that. Dune yeah. Matrix and 4. Matrix 4, I just Mortal saw Kombat, that. Godzilla oh, wow. uh, versus no, Kong, Suicide Squad, oh, nice. all same day as their theater release. Like their entire 2021 slate. Like that changes the game, right? Like obviously COVID good. pushed this, but that's a game changer. Yeah. I'm curious if it's going to be, if, th- if that's it, like they're always going to do this or if it's just for 2021 trying to get, trying to get back in the game or what? I don't understand because like, <laughs> I can guarantee you Disney is not going to do that. Like Disney will not drop Marvel movies on Disney yeah. plus. They would have already yeah. if they were going to. Oh yeah. And the fact like yeah. they've, they've, they've shelved movies for coming up on a year now. Like, yep. I mean, that's, <clears throat> they're, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do that. So I, I um, feel like this is them completely testing the waters. You know, HBO yeah. Max yeah, is, is yeah. somewhat more of a recent thing. So, you know, they're, you, know, you already have people that have subscribed to other various streaming services. So for them, this is just like, Hey, Let's test this out. I, we know that this is going to make a big splash in the water, and and we're probably going to have to delay most of these anyways. So let's just toss it over. But also, like they could just throw it up for thirty bucks. You know what I mean? Like they'll still get some money. Like that Disney's doing that. They did that with Milan, right? It was like thirty bucks to watch it at home. So, mm-hmm. which I don't mind at all. Like I've got a really nice TV, and I ordered a new sound system. Yeah. So I'm just should have like, got that eighty five inch. I knew it. <laughs> Should have. Cyber Monday sale, eighty-five inch. Tel- it's Come crazy, on. right? Yeah, I, thought it. It was, I thought about it. I thought about it. was twelve hundred dollars. You, were, I was losing money. Yeah, but and the now cool. the money's gone. I lost it. I didn't buy it. I lost <laughs> yeah. it. Since you didn't buy the money, just disappeared because that was the gone, TV money. Alfredo. That's the thing I love saying. Anytime someone talks about a sale or like yeah. some ridiculous like big lot bulk purchase of something it's like well if you buy a hundred of these then you can sell. and then I, all the time i go well i don't want to lose money on this <laughs> that's what i always leave, say like you're leaving money on up. the table dude <laughs> that I, that tv that was an 85 inch tv it was like 1200 dollars. it was marked down from i don't know what uh, three thousand i lost eighteen hundred dollars by not spending the money Damn. right <laughs> it's a big Fuck, markdown. i mean I woke up $1,800 lost by <sighs> keeping my 1200 Oof. and I feel like an asshole. Oof. Now I can't watch those, those big Hollywood really movies. Turn them red. <laughs> I'm curious oh, if anyone in you chat really hurt yourself. What, ha- oh, what happened, Jack, Jack? Jack, you missed the party. He already told the story. He knocked himself out right before we started. Yeah. What? Yeah. He bashed I... his head into the wall by accident. Yep. Yeah. See how what? these are slanted? 
it oh, slanted yeah. behind my desk as well and i was going back there to fix something and fucking cracked my head off the oh. off the slant and passed out and woke up on the floor <laughs> like a second now later i woke actually up knocked i had a you tear out? yeah yeah I, I blacked out for a second i woke up i had a tear coming down this eye and i <laughs> and i went downstairs <laughs> and i went downstairs to cat and i was like can you make sure my eyes my aren't shaking around or dilated so she turned up the lights to make oh. sure they weren't like staying big and Dude, I, like going Christ. I know the pain of like hitting your head on like the wall like that that not to that extent but my god that it stinks oh, it's Did a big the bump. wall at all Did no i think the, the wall? wall's fine I think the how? wall will make it. What is it? You didn't crack the sheetrock? How? How did you hit your head that hard and not dent the sheetrock? I hit rock? the corner of it. Maybe. Like right oh, on the slant okay. there. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Like, there's a big like a, bump here. Maybe there's a spot hide. on your head that's just like a reset button. This is going to be like, dented. Whenever I, we press it, you just pass out. Yeah. Have you have you ever hurt yourself? <laughs> pass out button. Have you ever hurt yourself in a way that hurts so bad in like in such a localized area you had to like punch something to try to like dull the pain? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I did yeah, that yeah. one time. I was closing a, a suitcase that was really full and I was pushing on it and somehow it slipped and then went into my fingernail. I like, got oh, under my fingernail. No, yeah. It hurt so bad. I literally punched a wall because like, ah, like I was mad at my own hand. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> mad stop at my own hurting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah did you use the same hand or the other no hand? no use the same hand like to try oh. to like like spread out that pain from like the general <laughs> fingernail to the whole hand and actually <laughs> felt like it worked a little bit too so i don't know what lesson that teaches anyone but i think uh, it's easy if you ever get shot have someone punch the bullet hole yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. i bite my right tongue out. quite That'll often it. spread it out oh, if, if something hurts a lot i'll bite on my tongue and like make that hurt because it distracts yeah. me a little bit exactly yeah. I go for it. You got to do like a uh, like sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes the pain go away. Is that one? Does the you shake your arms is usually a good one. You just make motion yeah. happen. Yeah. If you like hit your lot, leg or something, a lot. this you're like, oh, like <laughs> trying to make it you go. Look, yeah. You just look like a giant baby having a tantrum. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <Very> funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, there's always the shake. I don't know what it is about shaking. But like, if you hurt your hand a lot, you're like, ah. Yeah, you just gotta. You know, you're, you're spreading you it around. It around. For yeah. me, my wrists are broken, so it just kind of flops. They're not oh, broken. Yeah. You, you got like the flop. Yeah, they hurt. got broken ones. They hurt. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I, I got like three joints in my finger, uh, my wrist. It just goes into a different one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some guy tried to fix <laughs> Matt, problem. and he turned him into fucking rubber, and they never, they never fixed it. He got what was his name? <laughs> Uh, uh, the famous guy, the lock, uh, lock. No, not Slughorn Tyler. Gilderoy? motherfucker, Gildewar. Gildewar, yeah. <laughs> motherfucker. Well, he comes flying in Slughorn. No, he knew magic. He was like kind of an <laughs> asshole, but he knew magic. Gilderoy, I think it was Lockhart, right? Yeah, Something Gilderoy like Lockhart. Gil he was Gilderoy the one. Gilderoy was like a con artist, and he couldn't. Yeah, he, do anything. he was good at obliviate. He could he'd erase people's That's minds, it. so people would do yeah. stuff, and he'd erase their memories. Tyler, like I he love. Did. Yeah. I was out of love. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. You know, as we get into winter, the meat cravings start setting in. I just crave meat like an animal. Uh, it's like I have a fever for it. And the only prescription is savory and delicious offers from Omaha Steaks. If this 2020 holiday season feels like it's been a long time coming, make it worth the wait. Send the perfect gift. Send yourself something special. And then load up your video conference app of choice to virtually bring the family together with a meal everyone will enjoy. The Deluxe Grillers assortment includes a vast variety of entrees, sides, and desserts. Uh, Omaha Steak, seriously fantastic. I've been ordering it for years, ever since I was a wee lad. Uh, very uh, early in my Father's Day and holiday gift giving, uh, because then, you know, of course, I would also get to eat the gift that I've purchased for my family. Um, but great steaks, burgers, dogs, brats, you name it, it's yummy. Right now, you can get this mouthwatering package, plus four free burgers and a free digital meat thermometer at an exclusive price available only to my listeners. That's you. Go to omahasteaks.com and enter the code off topic into the search bar. And Omaha Steaks isn't just steaks. It's a guaranteed fantastic gift and a safe way to share the joy of the season. And don't forget, when you order the Deluxe Grillers Assortment, you'll also get four free Omaha Steak Burgers and a free digital meat thermometer with the code OFFTOPIC at omahasteaks.com. A deal you won't find anywhere else. Omaha Steaks guaranteed delivery. Omaha Steaks delivers. This is also a guarantee. Quality and safety with every order. Visit omahasteaks.com and type off topic into the search bar to shop the best 
gourmet gifts of the season. And that's a guarantee that they will deliver on. Saved it. Speaking of Harry Potter, I saw a, uh, a, a tweet the other day and it was one of those like one of these has to go like which like movie franchise has to disappear forever. And the four choices I want to get you guys opinions are okay. Harry Potter. Yep. Mm. Okay. Star Wars. Yep. Okay. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. Lord of the Rings. Okay. Mm. Is, you want to hear something controversial? What's up? I could lose Lord of the Rings. I was going to agree I, with Michael. I could yep. Too. Yeah. It's just, it doesn't mean that much to me. I know it's like this amazing franchise and people love it. Lindsay mm-hmm. would probably cut my head off, but um, I like it. It's fine. But I mean, to, to also Lord I'm not of the Rings attached is, to it like those other films. Lord of the Rings is two good movies out of the five they made. Whereas like Harry Potter, there's like how many now? Eight plus the the two they've got. So there's 10 Harry Potter movies already. Not, I mean, an 11th it's, coming. It's funny you say that. I don't. I Lord of the Rings is three movies. I yeah, don't even, I, don't even, I don't. I'll be honest. Yeah, who, I don't care who about the, the fuck Hobbits goes? But before. wait, what about yeah. the Hobbit? That was just like, <laughs> yeah. Did you did you see Hobbit in sixty frames per second when they did like the high frame rate thing? No, yeah. Like the the original Hobbit the, or the first Hobbit, I guess. Uh, uh, Journey began. Whatever the hell it was called, they released it in sixty frames a second in some theaters, and it was weird. It did not work, and it was yeah, like I'm pretty sure I saw uh, it. That. It felt gross. Like it felt like a, like like the one of the soap operas or like a like a reality show, not a reality, yeah. like a documentary I style. I can't do it, man. I can't. This I can't. is how like, oh my, like we didn't have kids yet, so. You know, I love going to the movies. And so Lindsay and I would go probably almost every single week, maybe every other week. Um, so we saw that Hobbit when it came out. We saw the second one. Just never bothered to see the third one. That's how disinterested <laughs> I was. It came out and I went, eh. And then they, we know they made happens. the Lego games. They made the Lego games. And they released the Lego game with the second movie. So it was only the first and the second movie. And then they were supposed to add DLC for the third one. And then they just never did. And I was like, hey, it's like me. Who knows what happens? We don't know. <laughs> great. This is great. I'm not missing anything. This is where it ended for me, too. I have no, shit no the, idea. Oh, shit, the dragon. All right, you, movie's did you, over. Did you guys hear that uh, Matt Mickelson is replacing Johnny Depp? In yeah. The next yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Fantastic Grindelwald. Beast. Love that. Dude, I just wish they'd bring back Colin Firth. Like Colin or, or, or uh, Colin, Colin, Farrell. Colin, Colin Farrell. Farrell. Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Yeah. Colin Farrell he was, was awesome. so good. He was he so was. good. And then it's like, ooh, Johnny Depp's like, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I, guess, I guess like why didn't they, right? Because then he could just choose to stay in that form and you can just leave yeah, that be the it story. Would make sense. It, I don't know, but like just just knowing I've never seen the second Fantastic Beasts, actually, and I still need to watch it i'll probably rewatch them both it's It's, not um, not great there's some interesting stuff they throw in where it's like like toward i'll say like vaguely towards the end of the movie they bring up something that kind of makes you go like oh shit maybe he's got a point Uh, and then uh and that's kind of interesting but they're doing the thing where like suddenly everyone's connected to everyone else in some way and it's like come on like let people have their own stories you know like we don't need luke skywalker to be related to a kid on another planet it was just a, a filler Dude. movie to get mm-hmm. to the next one. Exactly. Maybe I'll, wait till, like the, maybe I'll wait till that one comes set out. Set up for the third one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, There's yeah, also like hard third. things like, like the end of the first movie, it was like, all right, yeah. like Jacob, who was like the breakout star of the first movie, uh, he was such a great character and they erased his memories. And it's like, well, you know, he's going to be back in the next one. How are they going to get around it? And literally it starts the next one. Like, and it's just like, oh yeah, well, he didn't want to have his memory erased. So it's gone. He's better now. And it's like, what? Like it just makes no sense at all. Yeah, it's, like, it's like okay, forget about it's that. Good. It's like that magic I, didn't. You didn't want it, I would say like solved. that second movie uh, felt like it. you know how at the beginning of Star Wars they have like the the words that explain what happened. Yeah, that yeah. movie was those words. Like that was the whole thing. <laughs> like they could have just skipped the entire. Dude, those movie. words <laughs> do a lot of heavy lifting. Sometimes they, they do. They do. They do, they do, do heavy on, the, on the last film on uh, whatever Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> they did a lot. Those words are like Emperor's back. The dead speak. <laughs> right. like, Holy yeah. shit! What the fuck? Yeah. Like, that ain't like been dead. <laughs> it was like, it's oh like, my god! You don't need you Those don't need some sort of um, I don't know, Star Wars aficionado to pick that one apart, right? Because yeah. it's like the 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 running theme in Star Wars. They love doing it every like. Every time there's a gap, like like the prequels are the only ones they didn't do it because I guess mm-hmm. it was still happening, but they did it in the original series and then they did it in the you know sequel series where they love to go, 
what's the force? What's that? Yeah. I've never heard of it. Even though it's only like decades have passed, yeah. you know? And like, it's you living in this such a, uh, like intergalactic universe where you have this technology to travel to like, you know, hundreds or thousands of like speed. limitless planets and everything. But like no one, no one like I don't has a book or something. Well, this they blew like, up the archives, Mike. Today there's a Jedi. Here's what it is. <laughs> yeah. um, so, so you get to, you know, again in seven, like even Harrison Ford's talking about it in, in they're like talking about the force. And he's like, I didn't believe in it either, but it's real. And he's like trying to tell people and you're like, Whoa, cause it went away and it's in Ray's got it. And it's coming back. Then nine opens up. It's like, boom. All right. Fucking emperor's back. And I'm like, how do they know who that is? How yeah, do they well, know they, who the they emperor remembered him, but they he's a goddamn the Sith Lord. How well, do you know who the emperor is? <laughs> and he's a Sith Lord. Well, okay. So I'll, right. I'll forgive, I'll forgive star Wars a little bit because mm, people, mm -hmm. they forget that it's such a big universe. Like literally like that's what I liked about. I know uh, people shit all over um, uh, last Jedi, but I liked in last Jedi, there was that planets like the casino planets. Whereas the mm -hmm. people didn't give a shit like they're like they're not with the the empire the empire or the rebellion like they were just like oh yeah we're just you know just like the rich people who were just kind of in the middle it was like yeah whatever who cares I like that a lot I like that we saw stuff yeah. that was was not connected to like they didn't give oh. they were on Coruscant they were on Alderaan like they just they didn't care about this other universe going a on of people, a lot of people didn't like that scene Jack I'll tell you I that know. much they hated they, it yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll tell you I, 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 I like that before. <laughs> I'll mention this. Uh, Tim Geddes, of all people, actually brought up something that I was like, oh, shit, that would have been a lot better is they have the uh, that weird like those, those like the space cat horse things, you know, that yeah. they were racing around on. Yeah. If they would have replaced those still had a track, but replaced them with like like F1 pod racers where it was like like super sleek, like top of the line pod racers, like like the Grand Ooh. Prix of pod racing and done that same thing. I'm like, oh, shit, that would have been really cool because it would have been a throwback to the original stuff. But also it wouldn't have been like this weird moral story about like, we're going to save these animals and yeah. then immediately they're going to get captured. Yeah, no, that like, would have numbed the pain for it sure. Been, we're going to steal just, these pod just, racers. Yeah, just launch these yeah. pod racers into the city and cause chaos. Like that would be fucking cool. And then anyway. the fucking little broom kid would have yeah. hopped in at the end. Yeah. And he would have been an episode. Where was that kid? Yeah. Like, he didn't do anything. Well, the way. force is coming back. Episode He'd be like, nine. this I is I pod racing. I what happened to Broom Kid? No, the kid as it like turns this. out, Broom Kid, kid just went, had a ghost. That he was went all and he went. Now this is sweeping. And, just <laughs> there doing it. Yeah. and then I wanted to see him in Episode Nine die on the battlefield. That's what I was hoping for. Let me ask you out there and get I, him dead. Of all okay, the, how, oh, sorry, go ahead, Jeremy. I was gonna say of, of all the shit of like promotion they did for the new trilogy and everything. Why was Phasma shit? Like I feel like yeah, all the no, all the design yeah. on her and like the character she could have been, she wasted. was awesome. So wasted. Like well, she, the first she time the we saw her, she was the, like she, she, she like was the, gave up or something, and then she, she was the she, she was the grievous yeah. of of this this trilogy. Where it's like they they make this cool character and then it's just gone. Yeah, uh, kind of like, almost like Boba Fett. Like Boba Boba Fett yeah, honestly Boba was Fett. that character in the original trilogy. Like yeah, he, he was. He, he was existed, only in like, but like, like he for Han Solo to time Boba across Fett. three movies. <laughs> but even, even the thing, even the thing about Boba Fett, I don't even think Boba Fett was in the first movie. I think he was only yeah. in the second. No, yeah, he was. He said, he said, fine. No disintegration. Boba Fett. Yeah, I think he was. Um, <laughs> but the thing about Boba Fett, I'll at what? least give a little credit to is Boba Fett was never made up to be that guy. Like that, the fans yeah. were like Boba Fett. Boba, Boba Fett became a thing well after the movies. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like in the twenty years plus, then they're like. People love this fucking guy in a jetpack. Yeah. And so, like, like I'll say Phasma, they were like, here she is. Dude, dude, dude. Like, Boba Fett never got that treatment. He was just a guy that was there. And right. then people went, this yeah. guy's pretty cool. And now, like, you know, again, you cut to the Mandalorian. It's like, well, it's God, like at the top. God, God bless, like, John Favreau and Dave Filoni for going in and, like, correcting things in the universe. Like, they're taking stuff and it's like, okay, we're going to make this canonically, like, make sense. And it's like, okay, that's kind of neat what they're doing with it. And, like, I, I mean, not getting into big spoilers about, about the season of, of Mandalorian, but, man, like, what they're doing now is really fascinating Yeah, it's stuff. really dope and, like, shit. Like, I mean, because we, we know, we know, obviously, that, you know, Luke is alive at this point, because this this takes place in between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens, really closer yeah. to Return. Of the, it's just like nine years after Return of the Jedi. So we know Luke's alive. We know, you know, obviously, Leia and Han are alive. But 
like seeing other like you know force sensitive people is what i'll say still a- around is like i want to know their stories like what where were they during that weird period in between and like bringing in characters from like rebels and clone wars and stuff it's like okay okay now they're dropping some massive plots and like there, there's some there's some really really cool stuff going on with uh yeah. with that series if you haven't watched mandalorian it's fascinating it's a really really well done series and uh, a great documentary <laughs> so really fascinating stuff yeah good 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 ones, good ones. With, anyway. first bell oh! <laughs> that's that's right you've heard the first bell this is where we take a little time out to thank our firsties for being firsties you know thanks for your support thanks for supporting this stream and this show and all of our shows and uh just want to say Thanks to you. If you're not a first, check it out. You can get a free trial. You can watch first exclusive t- content. You get a discount in the store on merch and whatnot. Get to watch some stuff early before it's released to the public. Um, you know, but just uh, for anybody watching, which if you know, if you're watching, you're a first member. Thanks. Boom. Thank you. Boom. Boom. <clears throat> not roasted. Boom, that little rooster's um, coming up too. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be oh, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what the date is on that, but they're uh, wait. they're shoring it up. Yep. They're uh, getting their edits and mm-hmm. uh, you know tying their bows and whatnot. I yep. that's gonna be a good show, dude. Yeah, I, I, the trailer is so good. Like, I don't know, has awesome. that been released publicly yet? I no, no, just okay, the yeah. teaser. No, right? just the yeah. teaser. The trailer, like, without saying anything, it just it looks like visually it looks phenomenal yeah it looks so good it's so distinct and so like whoa whoa yeah Ooh. that's that's yeah. a show yeah you're like whoa <laughs> that's a show nice. Every, it, and it's and it's great too because there's so many styles of um you know i don't want to get into any specific specifics of like the plot of of the show but the way it was shot and the reasoning of like you know the the plot um every single person in it has such like a crazy style just watching the trailer you know we were saying this the other day someone asked us a question of like you know do you watch the content that you make and it was mostly like no like for me at least and then jack you said the same thing of like i don't really watch let's plays and stuff because we make it but like this show is something that i can't wait to watch um especially because of like you know covid and how it was filmed like nobody was there when i was doing it so i have no idea what the rest of the show is like besides like the little the pieces that i was in um and just watching like the trailer that that we have that hasn't been put out yet it's like oh that's what this person looks like whoa that's their outfit or like that's the set dressing like it's just so uh stylized it's really cool looking yeah dude going back to we're talking movies and stuff I, I was talking about how I got this new this new TV. And now I'm just Choked like up. I'm just like oh man. You, you okay? I was like maybe I'll maybe I'll start getting into like owning like physical stuff now because oh, you know no, it's, it's don't pop, do that. Pop open that new Xbox, get some 4K mm. stuff going in, <laughs> uncompressed. There's not a lot of 4K movies I'm looking at. Um, I and mean, yeah. there's, 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 there's like no I mean, one stuff ones. and. They they got yeah, the big ones. Big <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess yeah. Twilight is big, but they had Twilight, the four K I mean, old trick I mean, collection. I mean, you, 4K I mean, it Twilight? is huge. It is yeah. a huge. I mean, it, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Deny it all you want. <laughs> Run from it. <laughs> That's Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight arrives all the same. It's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just picked up. Um, I, I don't. Has anyone here seen The Wizard? It was a movie from the eighties. Yeah. Fred Savage, um, absolutely. Four K. I, I just picked that up in four K. Like they are like Shout Factory did like a massive re release with like behind the scenes stuff and like commentary. And that movie was like huge. When I, I mean that was that movie was important to me as a kid because I was like the first yeah. movie that made video games cool. Yeah, Jack. It and, uh, showcased Super Mario Brothers three. I did before yeah. the before the before yeah. it's even out. Oh, oh, it's, oh. it's so it's Fred Savage and then uh, Je- uh, uh Jenny not not uh, uh God Jenny not Jenny Slate. Oh Jesus, what's her Jenny Lewis um she was the female character in the movie the younger girl who then went on to become a massive success in in music like she's actually a musician now and like she's well more well known for that than uh, any acting stuff and so yeah christian slater's in it uh one of the i think bow bridges was in it um oh burnham 
What about Lucas? Lucas, Lucas uh, Haas? I, I don't remember the kid's name. George. Or the actor's name. No. no. He, had, he had the power glove. Oh, that was the bad guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keep, your, keep, your, keep, your power, keep your power gloves off her or whatever, off my girl. What was it? Oh, man. Was, figure out his name. He's like, this is how I race. And that was like, that was when that, that, that cemented the beginning of Nintendo's reign of insane peripherals. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. And they've continued this trend into 2020. They carved like, their own make, path. We're going to make weird shit. No one's going to stop us. Xbox, uh, like, like they, they were making whatever the hell they were going to make with Sony. And then they didn't, and they went, we're out. They ended that deal, and then, and then Sony went, fuck, I guess we'll just make it. And then that's yeah. how the PlayStation came about. They were working mm. with Sony to make their next console. They made the N64. Sony made the PlayStation. Nintendo was like, whatever, man. We're over here just making weird shit. Then, then Microsoft, Bill Gates is like, I, Xbox. It's a big X. And then Xbox and Sony were like, we're, well, you're my arch nemesis. And like, yeah, you. And Nintendo's like, yo, I'm just fucking floating over I'm here. staying out of here. Yo, waggle this. He's just like, yo, put more screens like, and like, more game pads. PlayStation and Xbox are like fighting to like, like, it's my turn in the pool. And Nintendo's like, I'm just rolling in the grass, dude. Yeah. I don't need the just pool. rolling in the, the grass. grass so, is wet. I got so, morning dew. The kid in the movie was Luke Edwards. Jimmy Woods was the main is the main kid, the California kid. That's that's Luke Edwards is the actor. And then uh-huh. Lucas was the bad guy. Yeah. So you are correct on that. So Lucas is the one with the power glove. <laughs> oh, he is kept the, the power glove in a fucking case. Yeah. He? he had like a briefcase. Yeah. He opened he had, it he had up. Like a briefcase <laughs> of all his games in the game. He's like, the power. What a, you know, what what a bad ass. To it? And then and then he went like and then he looked at the camera. He's like, tell your parents to buy it. <laughs> yes. He said it's so it, it's so bad. I love it's the power so glove. Bad. It's so bad. He's Dude. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at all these like amazing collections this is my issue with like doing like collecting physical copies because you get all these nice like right now the harry potter collection 8k uh, out of like 4k, oh, 8K. but oh, but then like yeah. there'll be like another thing that comes out it's like it's a nice little box set but then there'll be like it'll add another movie like yeah five seven years down the line i was like well the box set it was complete like is it, now it's no longer complete they need it's expansions you have this other to your thing. box set all right michael but, i have a i have a little flex Sorry, I gotta do. Okay. Yeah, so go for it. This is oh, oh my god. god. So this Whoa, was actually gives me uh we did a screening of the wizard here in Austin where we had yeah, Fred Savage that. come down, uh uh Todd Holland, who's the director, cool. and Luke Edwards, who's the kid, they came to Austin and actually did a screening for us. And I was the one who set it up with Ain't It Cool. I used to work for this movie website. And so they presented me with a power glove actually at the screening, which is really cool. So that was pretty badass. So Anyway, that movie's really, really awesome. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's totally, it's, it came out in 89. It's a, it's a, a, a very much an 80s style born. movie, but um, yeah. I haven't seen it forever. Good I got to watch it. Uh, Tyler Stab went and messaged me in Slack and said, it's worth it. And then uh, Tyler, way ahead of you, already got it in my cart. The Fast and Furious 8 movie collection. <laughs> <laughs> Does that have Hobbs and Shaw in it? Oh my God. I need to double check. Mm. Better. No, right? Be. No, because that's yeah, no, that's there's eight up. Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, yeah, two like, Fast, Two Furious, the Fast and Furious uh Tokyo Drift. I love that one. Fast yeah. and Fast and, and Furious. Furious, Fast Five, Fast and Furious Six, Furious Seven, badass. And then uh the fate of the Furious. Oh, oh. Wait, Come is, on. Is, wait, this is so six, good. Is six called Fast and Furious Six? I thought it was just called Furious Six. No, that's Furious Seven. It's Fast and Furious Six. Yeah. They took out the Fast. They took out the. So it's just yeah. Fast that was, that was the hard part. Oh, yeah, four, four was Fast yeah. and Furious, right? Yes. And then five. Uh, five was the yeah. badass one where they had the the safe going through Brazil. Yeah, or Fast Five. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Fast that, Five. That was such baby. a good one. That was. Well, so they good. took a they Man, took a break. Fast. They did Fast Five, then then took a break and saved Furious <sighs> for Seven. Yeah, dude. Why? The Furious why Seven. Why didn't they do that? Just badass, dude. The fate of the Furious. Like what? Dude, well, have fate you... and eight, fate, get it? Ah, I know. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Then there it goes. There's a connection. Did you really there not know go. that? That's why you Look. you kept saying it. It's just because it sounds cool. Look, it's just like Look. when I named my character dude, uh, dude, Gabu dude, Redemption. Dude, listen, listen. You know what I mean? people, <laughs> the people <laughs> that named this, this is great. How on brand this is because the people that named them are literally you and Tim. It's two people going, fate, eight, fate. The fate and someone's going, bro, 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 and, and then the movie got made, and then you and Tim see it, and you go, bro, you see fate? It just sounds good. Who named this? 
Dude, name this movie. I, I talked about it a long time ago, but we we went and we had I forgot which Fast and Furious uh, it was, um, but we oh. went and we had like ten of us, dude. There was ten of us. It was myself, Tim Gettys, and Scarpino was there, and we had like ten of us. We all rented this whole entire row, and we were the loudest pieces of shit in that theater. <laughs> we were there, we were freaking out, and then there was like the you know one of the like final scenes where like it took it back to Tokyo Drift, and like oh my god, what's going on? And then you like fucking car flips, and you're like no, why are they shot? my boy Han go out like this again and then it explodes and then you see it's like Jason uh, Statham is the one that killed him and we lost our shit we threw popcorn we jumped out of our seats people hated us it's (laughs) it's so funny how that worked with Han because you know the the movie started and it was just a car it was a car slash like undercover cop movie that's what the movie was yeah and then they went well that was popular let's make a sequel and like I don't know the specifics, but I assume Vin Diesel was like, "No, I'm not doing that," because like he was hot at the time. He was like in everything. Yeah, dude, he's like, probably triple doing X. triple X and he's shit. Doing tons of like action movies and stuff. And he's like, mm-hmm. "I'm not doing a sequel." And so then Paul Walker did it, and then that's when they uh, introduced Tyrese. Yeah. And so that movie was like, it Luke got Chris, a little. Right? It got a no, no, well, well. Tyrese was like the Vin Diesel re- replacement. Ludacris yeah. was in it. Ludacris. That's, that's funny. Right. Ludacris. Ludacris was was the one racing at the beginning, like go, and that was it. He was barely in the movie. Well, wasn't he in? He was he was in fa- uh, Fast Two as he comes Ludacris. Back as a, I mean, well, they both was, come back as major players. He, but like he was just Ludacris, and like it was like, no, oh, it's Ludacris, and then, no, then he comes back as it was it not? He, no, he might be, but no, the, uh, Ludacris, the artist, I think is in the film, but I don't think you see him as Ludacris. He's just at a street race in the beginning of the film, not as uh, Ludacris. He's just okay. the, whatever character he is Luda. now. But I think they're like talk. They might mention Ludacris at some point. I don't remember specifically. But the second one started to lean into like gadgets and shit. The first one, the only thing they did was the NOS. They're like, I got it. Yeah, it's super nice. Yeah. Dude, the second everything one was just about like NOS. they had the neon lights and shit. Like the cars and, were all and lit like, on the floor. And, and remember Paul, Paul Walker did the like eject someone out of his car. He had like the seat ejector. Yeah, like, open dude. The side door. And it started getting into the like, okay, this is getting a little Jeremy. like gimmicky um <laughs> they also did a thing where he was an undercover cop in the first film and then like he bonded with dom and he let him go at the end yeah he it's did like, whoa <sighs> and then the second one started and it's like now he he was an undercover cop practicing street racing so he could infiltrate street racing mm-hmm. then became a street racer so in the second one he's like i'm not a cop anymore i'm a street racer but then the cops busted him and made him work undercover for the cops. Thus, the exact same plot transpired, whether he was a cop or not. Now they're just like, well, clear your criminal record if you do it. So then that movie happened, and they stole a bunch of money at the end, which you were supposed to root for them as the audience. They like busted the, like this big drug dealer, and Paul Walker's like, I stole money, though. Then the third one happened, and nobody wanted to be any part of it. And they went, let's just go to fucking Japan. We'll do a thing like Bow Wow can be in it. He's not Lil anymore. Whatever. And the breakout star of that film was not the main character. It was Han, the super cool mm-hmm. dude that everyone loved. Mm, and they killed boy! him. They <laughs> killed him in the movie they introduced. And they flipped him and they flipped his car and blew him, him up. Dirty. And, and the- or did and- they? Did well, they? Or yes, hundred percent. And then, so then Vin Diesel shows up for ten seconds at the end of the movie, like uh, Vin Diesel. And, oh yeah, That's the it. main character Boom. was like, I didn't know, oh, I didn't know Han. In the movie. I didn't know yeah. Han yeah. ruled yeah. America. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. at the end, someone was just like, uh, the, you know, there was the main character here. of yeah. There's like, yo, there's a guy here who says and he wants to race you. He's like, nah, and he's like, he says you used to roll a Han. And then, like, he rolls up, you see it's, like, Vin Diesel, and he's like, yo, I didn't know Han rolled American Muscle, and Vin Diesel's like, he did when he rolled with me. Right. And then the movie ends. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. And and was, also, he and took the car. Why did he take the car to Japan? Like, he oh, took his own muscle car to Japan. Well, how do you think he got there, Jack? <laughs> he just drove, well, we drove across know. Pacific. Yeah. Well, we didn't yeah, know. You know. He came from, the like, Fast 8. It flew there. It probably yeah, has it wings. They just didn't tell <sighs> the audience that yet. <laughs> But so then we, it was like a couple of oh, years until no. until um four came out, look. Fast and Furious. Yep. Yeah. And J- it's like it's serious. They kind of rebooted it. They made it serious. And they were like, cut the shit. The third one was sloppy. You gotta ki- get Paul Walker back. They you gotta killed get Letty. Vin Diesel back. They kill Letty. Right. Yeah. You get serious. Also opens up 
Paul Walker now, not a cop, not a cop who quit being a cop, who was then working for the cops. Now, now he's in the motherfucking FBI. I'm in the FBI now. <laughs> I was like, what is this guy's career path? Greatest wow. franchise what? ever. And that was them making it serious. Like, I'm in the motherfucking FBI. They kill Letty. He gets involved with Dom and everything. And no. then so that's, so they that's like started. Believe, yeah. yeah, she was in it. I'm not Letty. No. I'm not Letty. <laughs> And so then, but then Han's in the movie and you're like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. And they're like, and they just go, this is a prequel. The prequel, yeah. baby. Three. So then it what? was like, it was like what? four, five, six, maybe seven all happened before three, just because they were like, people love Han. We Dude, killed him. Han. Let's just keep making these movies and have the guy that we introduced dying keep being in the movies because people love him. And then finally, and they're also the bringing trailer, Wonder Woman at some point too. The, the trailer for eight comes out, and they're like, "You're never gonna believe who's alive." No, and Han walks in. And he's like, <laughs> no, 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 hey, no. What's up? It's that's for uh, that's for nine or nine. Yeah, it's yeah. Nine. So, right, eight's outer. So here, Sorry, here's the thing. That's here's nine. the thing. When Tokyo Drift came out, it was a Han was the homie to tim and i okay han was our boy <laughs> and when han left us it hurt and it left a hole in our in our in our heart so tim and i we started making wallpapers of like r.i.p han and then sending it to like all our high school friends and stuff so they could make that as their desktop wallpaper so for the longest time it was like oh god han best of the series r.i.p han my boy and then there's the prequel that comes out. They're like, yeah, this is fantastic. We get more Han. And at the end, he's like, I can't live this life. I'm going to go to Tokyo. We're like, no, Han, don't do it. We know what happens in Tokyo. And then the rest of the Fast and Furious franchise happens. Now, trailer for F9 comes out. Tim and I are like, this is going to launch. This is going to be a big thing. We got to make sure, you know what I mean? We watch it. We talk about this. F9 trailer launches. It's called F9, right? Boom, that's it just f9 because they're badass as fuck <laughs> they don't need to write fast and furious in there you already know it's the fast saga <laughs> f9 is a goddamn name in the movie they released the trailer then out of nowhere han shows the fuck up and then what happens after you freak i'm freaking out han's back then they release a goddamn poster of Han next to his car, and it's the it's the Mazda RX-7 <laughs> with the veil side of fucking add-ons, and the poster is just Han eating his eating his fucking snacks Popcorn. as Han does with his back against the car, looking away. And what does it say on the top? Justice is coming. Justice is on <laughs> its way. God damn right. Clap <laughs> right on. And then, I, I when will, you I go, will pay, I will pay to rent the theater just to watch. There you there go. You go. <laughs> nice. I, will, I will rent nice. out a theater yeah. just to watch Fast Nine with you. And if Tim Gettys wants to fly in, I, 100%, I would you love to have, have that. To. I, I want to see then, that happen. And then because the Fast series isn't ridiculous enough, what do they do? They had an event for the trailer. They literally they like put a big ass fucking t like screen in the middle of like some park and they had fans come out just for the trailer. They showed the trailer, then they had everyone walk out one at a time and then they're just like, oh cool, there's the whole cast. And then they take a nice quick beat and then Han comes out. And what is he doing? He's just casually strolling, eating his snacks as Han does because he's the boy. He is the homie. <laughs> I love this series. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Also, <laughs> Jeremy, I, I Jeremy, yeah, yeah. Jeremy, just so you know, somewhere in there, Letty didn't die for real. Oh, yeah, she Whoa. came back. She had amnesia. <laughs> yeah, 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 she had amnesia. That would have kept, kept me up. That would have kept me up, dude. It was tearing them yeah. up inside. Well, they, oh, kept, they kept introducing dead people. And oh, villains. that's Han right there. <laughs> that's and, awesome, and, baby. And another chips. thing. Uh, another they thing also, at one point, they raced a submarine on ice which was interesting yeah, and I um, do you remember that there was there had been multiple yeah. tanks in different the thing, different movies the thing that fast and furious is doing now and does a lot of times which is interesting is they're following um anime logic where they keep introducing <laughs> villains and then the villains join them as their friends to fight the villain in yeah. the next movie mm -hmm. yeah they've done this almost every film now <laughs> like like <laughs> fucking uh uh which one's jason statham is that shaw yeah yeah. Shaw yeah, comes Shaw. in. But and Shaw they, was the second Shaw. They, they keep revealing, right, because they killed his brother or mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. shit. No, so that's why he killed Han. 
they reveal that he killed Han. Right. But this is this is what they've done, Jeremy. They made one or two movies, and All then right. every time they make a new one, they go, "What can we just make up from that movie that already exists?" And we we replay a scene from that movie, and then we add a new scene where you see a different angle, and you go, "He was there." Because that <laughs> that's because then Alfredo and Tim do what Alfredo is doing right now. Um, and they just layer it every movie. They go next movie. They're going to reveal like, yeah, dude, it was a dinosaur knocked the fucking tanker over. And people are like, I, that was a, it's can a you Godzilla believe it? Tie-in. So, so then, you know, Shaw's the one that revealed that like he killed Han. They're like, fuck, he fucking killed Han. And then, so he's the bad guy movie happens. And then they're like, ah, oh, we're pretty cool though. You're chill. Hey, spinoff Hobbs and Shaw. Let's do it. Also Han's not dead. So he didn't even kill him. We're all good. Everybody's friends. Everyone's happy. The greatest that's, movie that's, franchise in history. Oh, and then it's the just Rock. It's going to keep going and going. And then The Rock yeah. is there too now. Well, the yeah, yeah. Well, The Rock was there for at least The Rock wasn't a bad guy. He yeah. was it, like yeah. some sort of law enforcement guy. And he was like, I'm taking these guys down. End of the movie. I'm helping these guys out. And I'm going to be in every fucking movie after this. Dude, you know, you know, Vin Diesel had to look at The Rock and be like, motherfucker. I should have been the second one. Apparently they beefed. Apparently they're not friends. Well, because like Vin Diesel is a great guy, super nice guy. uh, But The Rock is like four Vin Diesels stacked together. And so it's like you can't have the two of them side by side. And be like, oh, these guys are on level playing fields. Like, hmm. Yeah, well, now there's John Cena on the next one. He's not exactly yeah. a small dude either. <laughs> He's like, oh huge. my god, yeah, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I forgot. Brother. I That's forgot. Right. I, Bring him right. into the fold. I forgot we were watching that at the office. We were still at the office That's when right. that trailer came out, and I was watching it, and they were like talking about it, and I go, and I'm literally the first time watching, it, I go. He's my brother. And then like five <laughs> seconds later, Vin Diesel goes, he's my brother. My yeah. <laughs> That's it. Because Alfredo and Tim are sitting in a room somewhere writing this fucking film. That is why. And it's like, do, 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 do. We bring in John Cena. We bring, oh my God. We bring in John Cena. He's Vin's brother. They got beef. They got beef. They haven't seen each other for, he's special ops. He's, he's Navy SEAL, but he's gone rogue. He's gone rogue. <laughs> it's like it's dude. It's it's fantastic story story writing. Every single it's cliche perfect. you can imagine and putting it together and then going, yeah, we know, but you're gonna watch it. And then everyone goes, hey, I want to watch yeah, it. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's entertaining as hell. It really is. And they also tease going to space. This is gonna be the look. I mean, the Fast <laughs> franchise obviously is is Please fantastic. Okay, Please don't don't gotta go fast to get to space. On, on and you yeah. could you could sit there, listen to us rant about this, and go, "It's terrible. It's shit. It's one of Universal's biggest grossing franchises. It's like top well, three. Because sometimes you don't want a movie that has like a complex plot. You just want a movie that's like <laughs> things happen. That's it." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to watch that with Fredo. I just want to. I just want to see you react to it, dude. I'm gonna lose my shit. See, I, I, I can't think wait. You see, your Fast Nine is like my in game. Like in game for me, it was like that's uh, that's everything. Like I have to. I I can't. I I saw that twice in one night. It was like the first opening night. So a uh, Fast Nine for you. I is, mean, you're your you're also talking to Alfredo. I, I mean, think yeah, your in game is his in game too. That, yeah. <laughs> that's not wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's I, in the midst of this, I was thinking when he was talking about like the the straight to release stuff, when you when you mentioned that Warner Brothers is putting their stuff out, my first thought was, oh, Alfredo's going to have a two hour conversation with Lewis about that. And they're going to text each other and they're going to be like, well, what are, your, what are your theories on this guy? Let's go down the rabbit hole. Let's let's. Uh, OK, now this guy, that's like I've witnessed that conversation happen like from afar oh in the get office into, oh just get yeah. into your like marvel talk or yeah. like or like you on the phone with lewis for like two hours or and and like or you'll come over and go yeah i was talking to lewis we were we were, we were talking theories we got some theories Dude, we got some theories man like it'll be like a release like a, a screenshot of something and then you're just like hmm okay like just the other day there is a screenshot it looks like uh yelena you know what i'm saying or, or, uh from black widow is going to be in um she's uh, in hawkeye. the kate yeah hawkeyes or you know kate bishop's storyline and so yep. i gotta theorize man i gotta figure out like where's the connective tissue there what ha- what would possibly happen in black widow that transfers that there's a whole story that i gotta it's conversations oh, need dude. to be had have you have you heard the theory that Black Widow, the whole entirety of Black Widow, the movie takes place while Black Widow is falling during Endgame? 
That's a cool theory. Because she, 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 she still a had a jump. Short movie. She had a jump left. <laughs> <a short> so. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is like she basically is falling, jumps, rights her wrongs in her past, and then jumps back and finish the fall. So there, there's there's craziness out there. And that now, they've, now they've gone through time travels. Like, yeah, they, they can do whatever the hell yeah, they I mean, want. they can do it's, anything. It's awesome. They got mean, parallel just... universes. Dude, WandaVision's coming next month. I'm freaking just pumped wait. about that. I'm telling you, man. Wait we went for all Doctor of 2020. Strange. All of 2020 with no Marvel content. My heart hurts. That sucks. <laughs> oh no, he's hurt. Yeah. Just say, close your eyes and think of fast. Heart. Just close your eyes. Yo, yo, your heart, your heart's still yo. beating. <laughs> His heart beats Justice a quarter. Justice is quarter coming. Okay. What? Justice <laughs> is coming. Oh, my God. What do you mean, my God? Via Cracker Jacks. <laughs> yeah. What are we eating on that bag? What a badass. I can only hope to be as cool as Han someday. His girlfriend was Wonder Fingers Woman. crossed, man. Yeah, Fingers crossed for the series. you. Yeah, but she was Statham bad. Kill you? She was bad, dude. Yeah. Well, she didn't make it long. Damn. She didn't make it through what? She was in one film or two? She was Ooh. in two. I don't the... know. Talking about Gal Gadot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was in two of them, I think. I want to say she was in Fast and Furious. I think she was in four. Was she? What? Maybe? I don't. I don't know. I, don't I think know she was in one. So here's the thing: as much as I'm in love with this series, it's all hazy to me because since the beginning of my relationship with Jackie, I have been trying to get her to watch this series with me mm-hmm. to understand the level of depth that is offered by the Furious series, and she refuses. I don't know why, but yeah, I refuse I to rewatch it. I oh. refuse to rewatch it until she watches it with me. But Dude. with F9 coming out. Okay, Maybe. so she was in Fast and Furious, Fast Five, Fast and Furious Six, and Fast Seven. But she was probably, I mean, because she dies in like facts, six, I doesn't she? Yeah, yeah she's got to, it's got to be like footage. So then she had to be in four then. She so died. It was probably it was probably four and five then because I think she's only in like two films top. So she probably dies in five. So I would imagine six and seven are flashbacks. So I, I don't think she was in three films. People are saying four through six, but I mean, they, they, in their, in their credit, she's credited I, for seven. I mean, so I don't know. I don't know. That, that might be so. a flashback in seven, but, uh, they're saying at least, okay. It's, chat's saying at least three movies. So it's hard to keep track. Wow. She made it longer than I thought. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's, it's a beautiful storyline that is weaved throughout the series, <laughs> man. And, and you even have a fantastic spinoff with Hobbs and Shaw and, and they fight Idris Elba. Who's like a, a super meta human, yeah. genetically enhanced? It's fantastic story <laughs> writing. I've well, got to say, Th- you got Charlize Theron in now. Charlize Theron's in there. I don't know how he became a meta human, but <laughs> <laughs> you're right though. That is what happened. Um, long story topped off. Yes, I'm ordering uh, this on on 4K. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Come, that's we've, what's we've fun. Come, and when it comes out in 8K, back. you'll yeah. buy that too. Yeah. We've yeah, come full will, circle. Dude. Yeah, you will. Yeah, but you're going to lose frames. You're going to lose those frames. No, I'm not. Not that on is... TV. No, stop. Stop. I stop mean, with fighting. 8K, you will. So, well, I'm that's not going to do 8K. I don't need 4K. Give me the 4K. I'm, you can I'm get 8K saying, TV right now, Fredo. When you get 8K, you're going to have to sacrifice frames if you want 8. And that's not the franchise to do it. You that's need the speed. Yeah, yeah. Gotta what do you need. mean that's not true? Hang on, let me, let me, let me look it up. Gonna need. I, I was looking at an 8K TV not too long ago. How is Helen it's Mirren just, in this series? It was like over $15,000. Just way, yeah. The technology is too ahead of its time right now. They don't. You're going to lose frames. You're going to lose the hertz, bro. Yeah, no. 4K is worth it. When you that. go bigger, you lose the hertz. Look, I'm going... And that hurts. Harry Potter collection, Dark Knight trilogy, Interstellar, Jaws, Inception, Twister, Twister. Uh, <gasps> is Twister in 4K? Okay, you can get know. a you can Predator, get Predator one through four. A v for Twister Vendetta. was the movie. It was Twister and, and the Matrix were the movie that were always on like the the demo TVs at Best Buy. Anytime you'd go yeah. in, it was always yeah, it was, it was Twister, Twister for or the a Matrix. bit. Yep, it was always Twister. And Twister holds up, man. I actually watched it recently. It's it's still a good movie. I gotta rewatch. Goofy as hell, and the plot it makes no sense, but the, the effects Storm look really chasing. good. What you didn't hold up? Uh, was it? Volcano didn't hold up. <sighs> you can get an yeah, volcano. Not Dante's Peak. Dante's Peak would. and Volcano came at the same time. Volcano was one in L.A., right? Yeah, it was in L.A. Yeah. with that was Tommy, Lee Jones. Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, yeah. Did not hold so, up. What are you saying, Matt? You can get an, you can get 8K uh, 120 hertz QLED for like five thousand dollars. 
We'll get three of them. You're lowering yourself to 120. That's what I'm saying. Matt, you're stack, agreeing with get you. Get four you're of them. Stack them. Stack them. Anyway. You'll get you'll get 16k. Now I think for an OLED, I was looking at this earlier. It's like 15,000. So I mean, oh, you can have that deep, 85 inches. Though. Those deep colors, man. Yeah. Yeah. Matt, just Ooh. take a take out a second mortgage and buy a and TV. Just, just do that. Yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> no, I'm I'm happy with my my current TV. <laughs> It's fine. It's dude. seventy-seven inches. It's okay. You're losing yeah, money. That's not eighty-five, it's, though. I know. I it's know. I, yeah. I'm gonna look at like the corner you're of the screen and be like, "You could more- be bigger. You could be bigger." I, oh, you're right. You're right. And my credit score would just go up if I'm in more Rate, debt. Rates right now are the lowest they've been in, in ages. So. You're adding True. an addition to your house in a way in my <laughs> living room. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you getting a pool? Mm, well, no. I can no, put a I'm pool s- on it, and I'm it looks about the same size. Oh man, God, it's so expensive. Yeah, that spiraled out of control. It spiraled out of control. Um, <laughs> Dude, have you I guys feel bought like dog do? Have you guys bought all your Christmas presents yet? No, no oh, not man, even no, crazy. Oh no. Okay, good. I feel less bad now. I no, don't dude, even know and, what. And I will say, normally it would be like, uh oh, it's besides the state of the world in general I, this is not a it's twenty twenty, a more of technology. For the last five years, it's like, dude, if you two weeks. Plenty of time. Yep. Unless you're like ordering something handmade or yeah. something like that. Slow shipping is a week. I look at something and I go, five days? Well, is a caveman delivering it? <laughs> you know, did the number of times I buy my nephew's birthday presents three days before their birthday. Oh, yeah. I go, thank you, Prime. Yeah. Done and done. It's convenient. So yeah, I've, 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 yeah. I've bought a couple things, but. I, I have quite a bit of Christmas shopping to do. No, nah, I just I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything delivered here and it'd be okay. Ever. Everything's well, been busted. T- today, I, I had to wake up at like 6.30 because uh, oh, Home Depot was delivering my dryer for the third time. Ooh. Uh, it, well, because here, here's what happened. The first dryer, the homeowners told me a different dryer and that was that was the wrong dryer. It got here and they were like, this won't work. And I was like, okay, we'll just replace it with this other one. So that that happened. Get it, totally fine. Easy to replace. Uh, then they bring the new one like a month and a half later and it has a giant dent in the side of it. And the guy like took it off the truck, got it in the house and he was like, yeah, see the dent's right here. Uh, it's going to basically be terrible. You want to take that back, or so obviously yes, we sent, uh, sent it back. They delivered the third dryer today. Um, it gets plugged in, everything's all good. Ready? To, he hits the button, turns it on, and I go, "Okay, that's what's that noise?" And it's just making this like scratching, scraping noise. And he goes, "Huh, never heard that before." And then he just like <sighs> talks with people on the phone for like ten minutes, trying to figure out like what the noise could be and like if, so i could try and fix it or whatever and he was like yeah we don't we've never heard that noise before uh you could take a discount oh, maybe hell no or, oh, or hell you could uh, no or you could just have us replace the dryer again and i was like it's been, oh. been over three months <laughs> so wait but, how are you doing your yeah. laundry <laughs> Anyway, on the yard. Um, oh, that's yeah, my yeah. God. I've got a washer. I get that? It just it, it takes a long time for the air to dry them. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. We won't have a washer and dryer in in this house till January, I think. Jeez, uh, God, yeah. Damn, it's just like dude. stuff's just backed up. Yeah, man. well, that's that's yeah. how my couch is too. Like I, yeah. I ordered a, a sectional couch, and they delivered the pieces that were like powered recliners. They delivered all of those. And I was like, where's the, the wedge and the non-powered piece to make it look like an L? And he goes, oh, they're not on the truck. I'm like, <laughs> oh. I'm like okay, was well, like, do you want us to take this back? And I was like, well, no, it's here. And I, I need to sit. But <laughs> like, so he just put them together. I have a very large, long couch now. And I called them and they're like, yeah, so the non-powered section, that's just a seat. It will be there December 23rd. And I was like, Merry okay. Christmas. Yeah, okay. And the wedge will be there with it. And they're like, oh, no. You'll get that maybe in March. 
what yeah and i'm it's like so far behind maybe in march i ordered the thing in like september <laughs> <laughs> holy crap I mean, i'm assuming That's it was like a room to go or something like that right like you no, went to it's, a it's like a ashley furniture okay so I mean, it's, I a bigger, it's, kinda, it's a bigger yeah, it's a bigger place, thing though. yeah yeah and i was just oh, like, wait, I, like i just those want a places, thing to go in between like, i'm gonna get those this places, thing on like, december 23rd it's just gonna sit there and it's not gonna have anything on the left or right of it it's gonna be a chair with nothing Oof. no those those places the, the big warehouse places like your rooms to go your ashley furniture home depots mm -hmm. Can you go pick up this stuff? Like, if you wanted to get your washer and dryer, Jeremy, could you just take a truck and go to their warehouse and take it, or do you have to have it delivered? Do you know? Um, I'm not really sure. So, like, the thing for me, we got our shit from Best Buy, uh, uh -huh. washer dryer, and like, yeah. a, we needed the double oven, the double oven replaced when we moved in, um, and that was supposed to be on the first. We thought, um, I think we might have missed an email, like, uh, something. Something got mixed up. We talked to him recently, but it's not going to be here until the 14th. But, like, God. I I don't know if we could go pick it up. Because, like, I mean, maybe we could. We don't have any means to do so. Uh, like, any sort of vehicle that could do that. You can run a thing, truck from like, Home Depot for, like, 50 bucks. I mean, but the other thing is they'll haul away the old one as well. Uh which I think is like it probably big, also, you know, like, which nice. is a big, that's with the oven. Like, the washer yeah. and dryer, we don't, we don't have anything here. Would but they have like, taken that as well? I think, yeah, they would take it as well if we oh, had that's one. that's nice. But, like, so the washer, yeah. we had... Be careful with that. I can tell you more about <laughs> my, my problem because uh, they thought they took my dryer and when I called to get the second one replaced since it was, like, messed up, they registered that as the dryer that I was returning was my old dryer that I had that I never had. I never had an old dryer. But they thought that the broken dryer was my old dryer and they just marked it as, like, oh, order complete. We've done it. You have a dryer, and we took your old one, and that was what. That. What important person in the universe did you piss off, Matt? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dude. like I, a, a long time yeah. ago, I probably like kicked like some deity, and I just didn't even know. Oh damn! Yeah, uh, the dresser in Iris's bedroom where I remember that. I oh yeah. It. <laughs> and it was like yeah it's out of stock but it's gonna be two weeks three weeks something like that and it was close to that and it got there and it was and they did the thing again which you, i love um the move like the unloader people they take it out they like on they take it out of the box they usually re leave it like lightly wrapped or they'll put like one of those big thick blankets around it so it doesn't get scratched or anything while they're carrying it up mm -hmm. carries it in puts it in the room sets it up everything and then it's like oh it's all fucked up on the side by the way do you want it or should we take it back and i'm like we'll take it back why did you bring it in why is <laughs> it's up it's on a second floor too like you went through so much trouble to get it. and i mean it was like it was like the back corner looked like it's got like hit with a fucking hammer or something <laughs> like it was it was not like a little scratch or whatever so they took it back, and then it was the guy. I go because I had to wait like three weeks or something to get it. I was like, "What do you think the replacement time is with this?" And he goes, "Oh, like a week, probably like a week." And I just I, I remember thinking, "He has no idea. There's yeah. no way this is there's a week." No fuck. Yeah, that's there's that's no what I was way. told about the drive. So then, so then, um, someone called me, you know, because they you know submitted their order that like it didn't get delivered. Blah 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 blah. And it was months. I mean, it was months. And I played this game where, like, they told me it was months. And then it was, like, seriously, like, two or three months. And thankfully, it was ahead of time. We didn't need it yet. We were getting the room ready. Iris was still in the other room. We were getting ready for Luna. And so we were going to switch Iris to, like, a new room. So we didn't need the furniture yet. So it was, like, okay, three months out. Then, like, two months later or a month and a half later, I get a phone call or an email or whatever saying, hey, we see this order sitting here. We can get that to you way sooner. We can do that like in the next week. And I'm like, oh, was, okay, cool. Great, blah, blah, blah. Go through a whole process, get on the phone, all this shit, back and forth. And then they go, they schedule the day. And then mm -hmm. I get a phone call that goes, oh, this isn't in stock. We're going to have to wait like two months. And I was like, oh. wow. That, oh, that same what? thing happened what? on my couch, dude. What? We were already there. Then it finally comes. The second one's fucked up. And so it that I made him check it when he took it out of the truck. And it was like fucked up again. I was like, bring it back. And so then like a month after that, I got the third one. It was insane. It was just a dresser. And I'm just like, I are they 
are they like kicking it around in the truck on the way here? I, was it fine when it left the warehouse? I just, I just want a dresser that the drawers open and close and doesn't look like it's all bashed in. This is all I want. Thankfully, it wasn't to wash or dry my clothes, so it wasn't as essential as Matt's. Um, but this is this is the price. This is yep. these are the struggles that we go through. Yep. These are the struggles. Yeah, the struggles. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like. Uh, uh, you know, thankfully, we now live close to our parents, both my parents and Kat's parents. So, like, we just go there and do our laundry, like, until the washer and dryer comes in. And Kat's parents are nice enough to lend us, like, a small convection oven that we keep on our countertop. And, like, it works totally fine. You know, it's, we can't put anything huge in there, but it works fine as an oven, like, for the time being. So, like, we're lucky enough yeah. with that um but yeah you know we ordered a couch and a table the other day like that are gonna be to our you know to get sent here and that's that will be like late february march ish it's 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 applied furniture and appliances are like the only thing that don't not the only thing but like one of the most common i'd say still readily available things people need when you're moving into an apartment or a house like you need appliances you need furniture it's like it's it's still in the the past of time where it's like this will be two months and you're just going i can't get it in a day and a half right yeah like, you just why? like you want it i just i'm why but i want it i want it in my house give me it I, I, give me it i saw someone asking yes i could i could take a um my old oven which is like sitting down my dad came over and helped me like pull it out and we just like ripped it to shreds Cause like we wanted it as light as we could. So like get the door off of here, get all this shit out of there and just like <laughs> take it apart. I could like load that into a car and I do live in a place that has like a dump that you can just like go to like a waste management. You can just go to and throw all your stuff out. I don't know why my camera looks awful by the way, but, <laughs> but it's it fighting, does. <laughs> um, it's don't worry. And um, yeah, it's just like, so I could like load that all in and then just like dump that shit. I did that this morning where I have like a bunch of excess recycling. And so I just like pack it all into my car and drive it off to the recycling plant and dump it all in. I'm, just, I'm essentially in the woods right now, which is nice. It's a nice looking <laughs> wooded area you're in. Dude, yeah. it's nothing but trees around me and I love That's it. Awesome, and then that dude. one I neighbor missed, that I talks to that. me. I miss it's great. that. You know, it's gotta deal like, with the stink just, bugs. You just run out of your house. You go fucking stink bugs. You could just everywhere. like <laughs> run naked into the woods, and no one would know. Yeah, it's just they're right oh. there. It's like yeah, no, I get it. It's a yeah. thing that I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's it's like a comfort blanket, and yeah. now it goes both ways. You have murderers lying <laughs> yeah. in the mm. woods. They're I, I know, it's a risk you're there, willing to take. Yeah. Growing up there, I didn't have that. I didn't think like, oh, what could be in there? I can't see it. It was like, you walk into there and you're that's it. Like, there's no people. There's no cars. There's no. You're just like in the woods, and it's like five minutes. You just walk that way. There's no street lights. There's no nothing. And I don't know where we are in Texas. That's like. I mean, you can have that, like, no streets and shit like that, but it's just flat and open and goes forever. You know what I mean? Where yeah. you're just, you yeah. just feel like it's always open and it's nice to feel like, it's like someone's putting a cover over you. It's like you look up and someone's like, hey, don't worry, I got you down there. And you're like, <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. I just like being surrounded. It's <laughs> we, just like, I don't know. It's weird. Cat it's and I feeling. spent a little bit in our driveway, like, um, I think closer to Halloween like in our driveway and there's a huge tree like right across the street which like you don't get in texas like i feel like all over the place in the northeast there's just like massive huge trees that go way up Mm -hmm. and we were just walking back in the driveway like how far would we have to be when this falls (laughs) like if this thing ever (laughs) fell in this direction (laughs) how close could we be and like it was you know it was a decent enough distance we have a very long driveway to the point where sometimes I'm a little winded by the time I put the barrels, <laughs> I, put the, like, like, I put the barrels whoo. out for the trash and I'm, and I get back to the house and I'm like, Oh man, who man, <laughs> like dude, when it first has like a big snowstorm, I'm fucked. You know, yeah, like I got, the, yeah, I got are. a snowblower at the ready, like to get that shit out of there, but I'm fucked. I, it's been you too long. You geared up. 
but nothing can truly prepare you. Dude, yeah. no, man, I've lost it. I've definitely no, lost here's what, it. Here's yeah. what you do: just tear up your fucking driveway, throw in some wire, melt that shit, heat it. It's true. Get a heated driveway. Yeah, yeah some... get a heated driveway. It's very cheap. Uh, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's that is accurate? What's uh? What's actually the That's most expensive wrong. part about it is is running it. Honestly, yeah. well, yeah. You're just literally burning money. It's <laughs> crazy. I, it is burning money for the sake of laziness. Like you could go out and shovel or snow blow it. So, but like, but it's also it's also burning money. You know, is kind of this like idiom of like you're wasting it. But it actually makes more sense than ever because you're burning it by turning it into heat. Like you are yeah. heating your driveway. <laughs> you are you are discarding money in order to heat your driveway to prevent snow. So, uh. I, I'll, I'll talk about this just because it's kind of similar. Uh, one of the things that um, came with this house was not a washer or dryer, but was a hot tub. Oh, uh, nice. they, yeah. They just didn't want to try and get it out. And I now kind of understand why they didn't want to do yeah. anything with it. About three nights ago, I heard a buzzing and Ooh. it was like one or two in the morning. And I was like, I think I'm just going insane. I, I can't sleep. I hear this buzzing. I like tracked it to be like outside of the house, but not like maybe not in my yard. I was like, it might just be there. The people next door, they're like their heat is turned on. Maybe. I don't know. I, I then I didn't hear it the, the next night, but I heard it again last night and I couldn't figure out what it was. And Casey was like, I think it's coming from the porch. I opened the door and I see a raccoon sitting on top of the hot tub Yeah, chilling. <laughs> on like the panel. And has turned it on, like, despite being <laughs> there, a, a cover being over it. And I was like, oh, my God. I, oh, like, I, I, like, scare him off and I, like, put my hand in. It is boiling water. And I'm like, oh, no. I have wasted a lot so of much money with yep. this raccoon. <laughs> this ra this, this raccoon, raccoon is party, man. taking all my money. <laughs> He's not even enjoying the hot tub. <laughs> They're going to have a death fight. <laughs> like, right around the rim. Oh. And then whoever got pushed in would... Yeah, uh, true. Well, and it's like it's got a cover and like a lock and everything over it, but the raccoon was just fat enough to press it with his giant ass, I guess. And then I just yeah. ran over and just turn it off, it off it. just like shut it down and drag well, and, booty. And that was what, I, the power that's what I did. I just like ripped it off of like the side of the porch and I was like, okay, well, I, I don't know. I, that'll be plugged in one year when I feel like figuring it out. <laughs> Matt, is right. there water in that in that hot tub right now? Um currently, yes. Oh, yeah, buddy. Empty that. Yeah, no, I know. Get, get it out of there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, well, you have to have water in there to, to enjoy it, Jack. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not using or enjoying it. <laughs> no, well, the raccoons <laughs> using it. <laughs> By no means would I ever <laughs> use like the old water that had been in there. <laughs> but yeah, I got yeah, the water out, that. especially before it freezes, too. But, uh, um, that kind of freeze? <laughs> Man, it's, it's like, freeze, ooh, he's dude. No, the, 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 okay, straw. you're lucky that it's cold right now because Texas has mosquitoes and they like yeah. Yeah. still water. Well, and so you're basically you basically made a soup for mosquitoes. Is what it you is know. a soup. I, I understand, oh, but it does gross. have a like an airtight cover. Like mosquitoes can't get mm, in there. Mm, no, they can. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they could. <laughs> well, I mean, they could phase through things. I, I, I can promise you that's not airtight. If if you got in there and someone sealed it up, you would not die. I can guarantee you, you'd be okay. You would not die. I don't know. I'd probably probably die just from boredom. Anyway, drain it. Drain it sooner rather than later, because that sitting water does not do well. And I mean, it's it's a plastic tub. I'm assuming, right? So, or you know, made of something that will. It's got some plastic metal. Metals. I wouldn't know to be honest. I, yeah. I was just like, that's a plus for it being there. And then that Some was sort of all polycarbonate. It was. Yep. And, and drain that, Matt. Drain it. If you're not going to use it, drain it. Get that water out of there. Matt, yeah, well, drain, it right it. Drain, drain it right it now. Drain it right now. Guess what? You just got a new dryer. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now you're thinking, there it is. <laughs> Just, just put it there, and they'll it'll heat yeah. itself up. You're right. Just put up some yeah. uh, some foil what? like to redirect the sunlight. <laughs> One of the biggest issues I've had so far in this house is that multiple lights in this house are controlled by two different switches. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there'll they'll be one in the kitchen and one in the family room to control like this hall light or whatever, right? Talking about three-way switch. And, and, yeah, and like the same thing for the outdoor lights. And we have like, you know, two porch lights and then like a driveway light. But it's controlled from two different doorways. Like they both the doorways have controls for the driveway lights and the porch lights. Every single night, it must look like a 
fucking UFO or something near our house because <laughs> I just sit down there going <laughs> like hitting the lights and looking out the window to see when everything's dark. I'm like, one of these combinations will turn off everything. <laughs> and it's just like same thing in the house. I'm like, nope, that one's on. Turn that off. Turn this dim that. Turn that off. That's off now. <laughs> like just going around you gotta, trying to you get gotta, everything. You gotta off. set it where they're all down. And then you'll know. It's got a smart light. No, the house. by default, they're not all down. There's some that are up. Like if I want it off, one has to be down and one has to be up. You just open it up and turn one around. I'm not you gonna open it problem. up. You think you, you, I'm gonna? You've solved I, that problem. I fry myself trying no, to get in there. Right there. You just, just open it up, some... lick your fingers, grab the whole thing, spin Ooh, around, whatever. boom, Always, done. Yeah, you just grab the part with the screws. I don't know it. what I'm doing. I'm not touching that stuff. Just, just, just pull say, off the faceplate, hose it the... down with water to make sure you get anything, any dirt out of there. And then uh, just reach in and grab it. You'll be one fine. of the first things I, I did like... in my house was fix my three-way switches that were upside down. I was like, uh, this won't stand. I'm like, this will stand. I saw it. I was like, this will only stand. I, dude, when I touched, when I was messing with like a ground wire for a bit, when we pulled the oven out, like, because we killed all the power to that section to where the oven was. And, you know, then I unwired it on the we just had to like unscrew the caps and everything and get all the wires disconnected to get the oven out of there even then i was like i know the power is off and i'm just like recapping these and putting them back in until the new oven's here and everything like that the whole time i was like well i'll die like in, a, in like a couple of seconds i'm dead so electricity and i just don't i don't i don't touch it if there's that anything well. that's, well, that's like smart. I'm, right i'm just like fuck it i'm gonna fuck it up the amount of times I've stuck my finger into outlets is uh, is off the charts. I've done it all the time. You ever do the thing where you're trying to plug your phone in, in the dark? You're like, oh, you need a charger. Yeah. So you start oh, yeah, feeling you where zapped. the outlet is. Ooh, and you're like, yeah. it's around That's there. An and then you zap. zap the shit out of it's yourself. Easy. If, you, if you get a knife, oh. you can just really feel where those gaps right. are. Right. I'm like, the hole is here. Some, I'm just stabbing you know. the wall looking the for knife the knife would be fine because you're only yeah. touching one of them. Right yeah i don't mess with power man like electricity i've been doing my my arduinos my little lights and computers and stuff like that and i i have a better grasp of it now how it kind of works but dude elect electricity scares the shit out of me because yeah, like, so little dude. of it in the wrong yeah. spot can kill you immediately it's yeah i'm I I, it's that. it i'm so glad that i know like a little bit about it because it it does come in handy the other day uh it was a couple weeks ago i was doing off topic or something streaming here or whatever. And I was just like sweating my ass off. And my AC said it was like 70. Well, it was on, sorry, it was on. It was like 78 degrees though, but the AC was on. And I'm just like, okay, well, it's not on. Like, there's no way it's on. Yeah, I had it set to like 72 or whatever. And it wasn't that hot outside. Uh, so once we finished work, I went out, uh, I've looked at the thermostat, it seemed fine. And then my first thought was like, okay, it's probably the thermostat wire. like. Cause it like the wire sends the signal to the air conditioner and then the air conditioner, like the thermostat in the house sends the wire all the way to the air conditioner and the air conditioner goes, okay. And then pumps it into the house. So the dials on in the house, I go outside, the air conditioner's off. It's just not running like the big unit. And I'm like, great. What am I have to fucking deal with? And it's funny that I'm fortunate enough to be in a scenario where I, so I went back inside, I just turned the thermostat off, which is, like the power's off, it can't have power if the thermostat's set to off. So I go outside and I found the thermostat wire that's connected from my air conditioner to like into my house that eventually runs up to the dial itself is just broken. It's like literally like, I assume an animal chewed it or something. It was just cut. And I saw it went, oh, thank God. Cause then I, I just found both ends. I like grabbed my tools, I ripped it apart. I spliced it up, I taped it up, turned it on. It took me like, like 10 minutes and i was just like oh thank god it wasn't the air conditioner it's if it was like the air conditioner man. i would have to call a guy and it yeah, would have been like 200 yeah, yeah. That, oh, see, with that see, is if like, i that... saw those wires i'd go well my life is ruined yeah yeah it's like yeah, i don't that, know what i'm doing right this is where yeah, my ability and, ends and, and i have all the parts i have all the little tools i have the little wire strippers um I did that with my lights. I set up like my backyard area and I had like a string of lights and I went to plug them in the other day and they were off and uh, the wire were, uh, was ripped again. It's like, there's a cereal fucking eater or chewer running around my backyard. Or something. It could be a rabbit. I have a rabbit that's in my backyard a lot. I don't know why the fuck. Maybe it's Iris. Wires, but it could be Iris. She's got sharp teeth. 
Um, <laughs> same thing. I fixed it though. And I was just like, yeah, it's just that little sense of satisfaction. Michael, and then I come back inside and I do this for two hours and waste my life away. <laughs> do you have a nest, Michael? Every, have, everyone else is who watches it. I don't just waste my time. I'm watching your time too. Yeah, I have sure. a nest. Okay, I'm I'm curious. I need to talk to you. I'll talk to you offline. But my I think my nest sends the wrong power signal to my my air conditioner because every now and then it just freaks the fuck out. But oh, anyway, weird. we'll talk. Yeah, like it sends too much power or not enough, and then sure. my air my AC my the unit outside like makes this weird clicking oh. noise. And so I've heard that might be, it could be a power thing, but we'll we'll talk later. That is random. Two hundred dollars. Real quick. <laughs> speaking of random, if you can fix it, together, I'll pay you two hundred dollars. Yeah, absolutely. Uh oh. <laughs> speaking of random, I'm putting together next week's stream schedule. You guys, uh, Matt, Michael, you guys are good for some more Zelda random. Yeah, you didn't chill out. Zombies. Sure, man. Zelda random. Are you guys still good? You guys still got some more lead in that pencil? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, we right. got we're it. Pumping, we got dude. It. We're raring to go. We're 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 close. We're closing doors, man. Yeah. We're finding keys. I we're, think you uh, have, we're 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 cleaning up shop. I think we're nearing the end. You Ooh. have like four dungeons left. I like the sound of that. Do we? How much time do you think we need, Jack, for zombies? I mean, hour and a half. Hour and a half, two hours. I mean, we could we can get to the boss. Like we know we can get to the boss, but it's a matter of like, can we beat the boss? So I would say if we want to give it two solid attempts. It'd be two hours. Um, mm. but I mean, an hour and a half we could maybe squeeze two in. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, well, we're getting pretty good though. We've been playing some zombies. We're actually we kind of know the path, so I think we could do it. I'm I'm looking yeah, we've at been the, having uh, a great time. That's let's see. We got yeah. You got you got. Is that an hour? That's uh, an hour fifteen. Not just an hour. <sighs> no, on I got three hour blocks, but I could shave some time off of Zelda, or I could oh, shave some time of uh, I could shave some time off of that Minecraft uh, stream that we we teased. Oh yeah, this the, the little yeah, cleanup clean stream. Up. Clean up. That stream. might not be a bad thing because because I mean like have an hour and a half time. for that. I don't we know need two hours. Because yeah, I mean, Lindsay could, Lindsay could start get. early and like she could be in there working. We just like when we're done, we go in, you know. Because it's, I mean, Alfredo, are you going to be in the the Minecraft stream? I, I could look. I'll clean, but I'm gonna throw away <laughs> something important. I'll tell you that right now. I'll just go. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We, we don't throw need anything it. away. We just have to reorganize it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's I'm, a lot of stuff we don't need. Well, see, the there's thing dust. is, I'm actually there's working dust. on I'm working on storage uh, storage solution right now for us, and which we just put everything in, and won't really matter where it is. But uh, still, arranging everything and making it look nice is a whole other thing. So yeah, so let's do. I'll do an hour for that Minecraft clean stream, and then slide in that extra half hour for zombies, right, right. little zombies before or after zombies. the Minecraft zombies. Probably before zombies. I'd do it okay. before. Okay. Hey. All right, it's all you guys are seeing next week's stream schedule come together. Wow, oh, I know this is how damn. it happens. Damn, 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 damn. I'm, I'm gonna die in a minute, so we should probably wrap up. Here. Okay, unless you yeah, want to dance, dance on my, if you want to dance yeah. in my grave, feel feel fine. Oh, hey, uh, real quick, dance. before before we go, uh, so uh, Lindsay she donated her copy of uh, the Ruby season one script. That was her personal script. She donated to Extra Life to auction off. That will be hitting eBay tomorrow. If you're watching this live, we'll be hitting eBay tomorrow at 1.15 Central. And we'll go for uh, go for a full week. So we'll have it from Friday to Friday. So you've got uh, starting tomorrow, 1.15 p.m. Central. We'll have a link and stuff for it. But yeah, it's going to be up on eBay. Uh, and the 100% of the proceeds from that will go to Extra Life. So I'll have links and all that stuff. And you can buy it anywhere in the world. Any, whoever wins, as long as you pay for it, we'll ship it to you. So anyway, there you go. So that'll be oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Also, I think the floral uh, line came out today. Yeah, right? get some flowers. The, store, oh, so nice. oh. the floral line, the Achievement Hunter floral line came out. Or is it Achievement Hunter or is it floral and just Achievement Hunter, right? I don't I know. I think it is. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Who's to say? Um, and also uh, a bunch of new uh, Face Jam merch just came out. It's crazy how much merch we have. You got your, you got your plush. You got your plush. We got, okay, so we got the, um, there's the floral. There's the floral. There's, uh, Look at that crew. Stuff. Um, We've and so Why we does got. Why does look uh, so small there? Uh, it really does. Know. Is she she's that? She's know. shorter than I am. She's she's like a, so yeah, she's, she's Sarah is not that tall. Is that Sarah's real? not a foot that taller than Steph. Like so on Photoshop, they're smaller. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, Sarah's um, not that much taller than me. Like no. I'm just picturing myself <laughs> in that scenario, and I'm just like, that's something's wrong there. <laughs> that's not accurate. <laughs> Also, there we go. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. 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 That's also so awesome. Funky That's plush so cool. with the Face Jam cup. Now this was the cup was great too because the cup was a thing that people just demanded. Uh, Wes did a photo shoot, you know, earlier this year, and he just. Had
posted the photos and people were like, give me that fucking cup. I want that cup. <laughs> so we, we made the cup just because people really wanted it. Um, and then we also have a uh, Spice Rat slash Face Jam coffee mug. And then there's also the last meal shirt. I love this shirt. Do you have that shirt, Tyler slash Brian? Do you have that shirt? <laughs> last it's a meal shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have you only have access. It's on the website. What? What? Store. Not, look it up yourself. Go to store then, well, people. Yeah. Last that's... meal shirt. It's a it's a grim. There we go. Hang on. It's happening. <laughs> oh, close. Whoa. Secrets. Uh oh. Oh. Um, it's oh. a skeleton holding a pizza. Wow. That's pretty Good. cool. Yeah. Um, and then also the spice rat shirt's been restocked. If you. Are looking for oh them. fuck look at all this jeff merch too oh, so geez. it was a it was look a big up. day for face jam and we got some good stuff that new there's a lot of shit really out nice. there that i want and i should get man yeah. and that's that all right i just thought i should mention that i forgot tyler mentioned how red that. is it oh it's red Ooh. yeah it's pretty red oh, dude. oh. Yeah, that's gnarly yeah, that's a that's a. Oh, oof. where is don't, it? Right, don't touch it again. Yeah, You're there. Gonna I can feel it. How's it feel? I can feel it, dude. <laughs> it is raised. It is up there. It's like whoop. I go over it. Does it make that sound? Oh god, <laughs> I really hit that hard. Well, and yeah, hot. you knocked yourself yeah, out. Yeah, you did. Of course, dude. it was hard. <laughs> did I hit myself Jesus. hard? Oh man, yeah. There was a moment I was like. Man, it'll be hard to explain to Michael of like, hey, can't be on off topic today. I fucking concussed myself on a wall. Yeah, but then you didn't explain it until we started off topic. Yeah. And then I was like, whoa, I got a story. It's Could've great. Just not been on. All right. Well, I, next time I don't have a story, I'm just going to Jeremy, great. I have a I hit sword my throw. head. Now I have okay. a story. So let's yeah. bring this back to me. I, I don't feel good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Michael. Yeah, so let's end it. Let's make sure Michael gets his tea that. Can someone give me tea? Well, now you made me yell. No one's getting me tea. No one's There's, getting me tea. No tea will be had. Okay. I'll just, I'm Fredo, just going to suck hey, honey today. from a bottle. Fredo's going to buy us all McRibs. It's going to be fine. Are you serious? Hey, oh, shit. Sure, we're back on to that. Damn, dude. No Look, win McRibs? He never no, That's just generous. That's just generous. He'll pay for so it. Nice. That's just generous. <laughs> well, yeah. He said he'll buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to. All right. All right I'll get buying kind of just seems like I will do the action of buying. Thanks for giving us the McRibs, Fredo. That's really nice of you. Really nice guy. get someone to get my card and put it together then. Thanks for watching, everyone. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Oh, no. I'm, I'm oh, show. Who finger. burped? I don't me. want to talk about it. <sighs>